Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Who's Left, a weekly recap of last week's Who's Right podcast. Before we get started, I'd like to remind everyone to also listen to Dear Flabby. Search up Dear Flabby everywhere you find fine podcasts. If you want to support the show and get weekly bonus episodes, head over to patreon.com slash who's right. They also have all of their bonus episodes at who's right.supercast.tech. You can watch the live show on YouTube at www.youtube.com slash who's right podcast question mark. You can find merch, P.O. Box, links to submit Dear Flabby questions, and everything else over at www.whosrightpodcast.com. On last week's episode, the boys start out by talking about the Trevor Project, an organization that helps prevent teen suicide. Obviously, Anthony was against this, but Anthony must be a parent because... Parents just don't understand! Then the boys moved on to their meme segment, and they learned about the Skinwalker meme. Okay, Boomer. Then the boys discussed a deaf football team. Then Anthony said, Should deaf people even allow, be allowed to play sports? Yes, they should. Yard sale ad read. <laughs> then the boys talked about how most white people lie on college applications. Then the boys talked about Amazon giving away free Sprinter vans. I guess I have to renew my Prime membership. Then the boys discussed names. Doug changed his name to Doug3x. L. Then super chats and phone calls. <laughs> and no, nobody got doxxed this week. Almost. If you would like the opportunity okay, to potentially be doxxed the by the thing. boys, oh my sign God. up for the Patreon. Do we have Maybe a show? Or are we just... They'll call you live well, on the you. show. Fuck you. You said this was funny. So that's it for this week. Talk to you all next week. I've been wrong left, before, okay? We recap of the Who's Wrong. Hold on. So now I got to play this. Good morning, everyone. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. I picked the wrong thing. Thank oh you. Oh my God. <laughs> Hold on. I got three more things to play. <laughs> okay. I'm going to try real quick to play the intro from Cameron that I couldn't get to play earlier. <laughs> okay. It, it says the scanning is complete. Just though. cram it all in. <laughs> okay. Cameron, I'm sorry. I can't get your fucking thing to play on my phone. I will get it figured out and play it next week. Okay. So we got action packed show today. <laughs> Uh-huh. <sighs> All right, where do we start with this? Okay, so first I want to say this episode, I am contractually obligated to say that this episode is brought to you by uh, Doug and Anthony's Media Outlet Center, <laughs> which... <laughs> is, that, is that what we're officially calling it? <laughs> what do you want to call it? Big, big media? Yeah, yes. <laughs> Big okay, media. so so what we're talking about is is a gentleman named Jason decided to flood our PO box with a bunch of CD CDs and uh, movies. Yep. So one, it's greatly appreciated. I I I seen a note in one of them that he said you said that you would uh, review everything that I send to you. So this is funnier <laughs> than giving you money on Patreon. I agree with that. <laughs> uh, but I'm going to try to use it. To make to money. benefit us. <laughs> so what I'm thinking is we start like a, you know, like a learning library. Yeah. Except where they give us money and then we just send them the DVDs like Netflix. Yeah, you can borrow them. <laughs> borrow them for a cost. You borrow them and then you send them back. <laughs> so if our library changes, I have no idea if there's more coming or if, if other people are going to send shit. I'll, I'll tell you what we have right now. Uh -huh. So, Anthony, of course, you get first dibs if there's some of these that you want to watch. <laughs> okay. Um, I did. He sent the entire Snow discography, which I <laughs> thought was only one CD. <laughs> so did I. <laughs> that was my favorite part. There's three <laughs> Snow CDs. <laughs> so we've got the CD. It, for the, these are for the listeners and for you, Anthony, if you're uh -huh. interested. We've got the... 12 inches of snow the CD. Mm -hmm. uh snow justice also snow murder love which 
murder yeah. love. Okay. So <laughs> if that's not enough, if there's more, <laughs> like if you want for Thanksgiving or something, I can get these overnighted to you. We got Jingle All the Way 2 starring Larry, Larry the Cable Guy. <laughs> on DVD. Yeah, on DVD. We've got the DVD version of Ghost Dad. And uh-huh. we've also got the VHS copy of Ghost Dad. <laughs> So if you, if you want to borrow the VHS copy of Ghost Dad. <laughs> that was fucking great. Oh, shit. All right. Hold on. There. Did that. Oh, boy. <laughs> Fully work on the fly. Uh-huh. All right. So let's get into this fucking sh- train wreck. This is going to be a fucking nightmare. Okay. Who do we bring in first? I... I I was gonna just bring in Brady first. Okay. So he could set this up as to what is about to happen. Do you oh, but I don't know that Brady can speak without Kaya being next to him. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. Do you think Brady's gonna be able to set anything up? Do you do you want to try it just to see what happens? Yes. Okay. Brady. Hey, can you cut Kaya next to me? <laughs> Douche. <laughs> I get Hi. All right, so we've got <laughs> we've got Brady and Brady's mouthpiece. So Kaya, can you explain yes. to me what we are doing here today? I want to see Brady try first, and then I can correct him, I guess, <laughs> or help him. All right, Brady, give it a shot. Brady, I, I, to... God damn it, Brady! You claim to be a great podcaster, right? No, I'm the best podcaster. Okay, so if you're the best podcaster, you should be able to just flow right into this. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with you. I should. (laughs) Go. All right. We are here today, everyone. We are gathered here today to talk to John and interview him. And we're going to teach him how to podcast because he's been on like 30 podcasts like this. And not one of them have got like more than three viewers. So today we're going to teach him. All right. So, Brady, I I am going to be a self-appointed fact checker in your bullshit. Okay. I know what I know what Brand X's stats were and I know that they did okay. So you you're already starting off on bullshit. Well, what's okay to you is miserable to me, but whatever. But, but you see <laughs> Brady, you said something about him not getting more than 3 listeners. That's not a like a objective or subjective thing. That's you can fact check that, right? Yeah, how many viewers does he get? Like 5 Sorry, I didn't. Okay, so so Brady, here here's where here's what your problem is, and here's why you're starting off on the wrong foot. You have happened to connect yourself to the dick of a host of a very successful pod a co-host of a very successful podcast. And in your mind, you think that a podcast isn't successful unless it has the official podcast numbers. Hello? Did I lose yeah. you? Your boss walked yeah, in? I, I, <laughs> I said, yeah, I agree. Okay. I guess you want to have a successful to weigh podcast. in here, okay. Brady has told me that having moderated our Discord, which he is, he's, our, he's been our Discord moderator for years at this point, three, four years. He's gained some expertise into what makes a good podcast. And he also recently re-listened to... The episode where he was on Who's Right, I was there, Laura was there. Then we had an after show with John on it, and Brady and John went at each other, and John and Anthony went at each other. And Brady uh, re-listened to that recently, and decided, you know what, this asshole is a piece of shit. He's bad at (laughs) podcasting, and someone needs to tell him. Is that fair, Brady? Have I summed up your position better than you? Brady? Oh, Jesus Christ. Jesus, dude. <laughs> yeah, he, he, he fuck. Oh, he's. Now he's in here twice. <laughs> fuck. Should, should, we at least, right, should we at least bring John on to defend himself? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I was just going to say yes. I'm going to bring John and Dave on right now. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Doug, I fucking hate you. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> you cocksucker. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Oh. Hi, John. How you doing today? <laughs> I was doing good. John, hey, I, listen, if I'm going to get lessons from the best podcaster in the world, I really, really should just thank you for this because I cannot wait to be educated. 
from a guy John. who can't, tell us, can't start a sentence until 10 seconds after somebody asks him the question. John. Where the fuck is he? John. Yes. Did you not hear me just fucking defending you? That's right. I hate Anthony. Anthony, you piece of shit. <laughs> what? Why the fuck? Okay, anything? speaking <laughs> of, speaking of, so Brady doesn't know how to edit audio, but he did ask me for help to oh, give everybody an idea of what happened on the last after show. So you and, uh, you, John, you and Anthony went at each other. Uh, Anthony had some arguments. Well, reasons, I think. I mean, he made some good Usually points. I actually have a... <laughs> I actually have a compilation of all the arguments. Uh, oh, actually hey. made in <laughs> you know something here? Uh, if I would have had some, I would have known what was going on. I could have defended myself. I could have had something to gird my loins. Okay, but you guys have been setting no, you, up. You'll you get your chance. Clips. I. Well, hold on. I have what the of you fuck too, don't are worry. you talking about your loins? That's right. Hang on. <laughs> okay, everybody, hang on. So this is what Anthony said on the show at the time. This was his uh, argument. Still better than you, but we're better than you. No, I am better than you. We're more successful than you because I'm better than you, John. But I'm better than you. I am better than you. All your podcasts suck. You've never put out anything that was even close to our worst episode. I'm still better than you. But still better than anything you've ever put out. Still better than you, John. Still better than you. Still better than you. I am better than you. No, no, no. I'm just better in general than John. Still better than you. We are objectively better than you. I am objectively better than you. Do you really believe that you're better at podcasting than I am? We are monumentally better than you. John, I am better than you. Yeah, I'm still better than you, though. Better I you. am better than you. It's because I'm better than you. We are objectively better than you. I don't I don't know what you mean by not the truth. I'm better. Our podcast is more successful than anything you've ever done, and you're jealous. Obviously, what you're doing sucks, and what, what I'm doing is good. We Get are here. better than you. <laughs> so... God, that's that was amazing. Anthony's thesis. <laughs> well reasoned. PTSD. Okay. <laughs> the PTSD going on from that experience. So I guess I mean, Anthony. Silent shit. Anthony, do you yeah. want to defend yourself? No, I think I made a pretty good statement right there. I, I stand <laughs> by all of that. There's not, there's, there's, there, I didn't hear in that whole thing. I, I'm guessing you didn't selectively edit it. John didn't defend himself at all. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So I'm going on record. Okay. All right. Fuck you, Doug. I don't believe anything you say. But go ahead. <laughs> I'm going to say it anyway. So fuck go you ahead. too, John. Go ahead. I don't agree with what, what is being said right now. Okay. I, I guess I, I still do. Whether John considers me a friend or not is, is I guess irrelevant at this point, but I consider John a friend. And I don't think that our podcast is better than his podcast. Yeah, you're wrong. So <laughs> do, do, do you? Which one? Of the, yeah, I'm, ta I'm talking about Brand X. Shut up, yeah. Dave. <laughs> <laughs> so I was about to defend you. Brand X was Dave, good. I was going to say, Dave and I are competing for the most failed podcast. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Mm. Mm. Everyone's listened to Brand X, and we all agree it was good. Okay, so mm -hmm. and Brady, it must have been I my uh, co-host. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> right, is so Brady back? Are you back finally, fuckface? I've been here. What the fuck? You haven't said a word, ass. Whatever. I don't want to interrupt. I'm a professional All podcaster. Right, Brady. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You, know what, you know what I just realized? I realized Brady is Kaya's Anthony. That's what this is. Don't disgrace That's me. That's exactly like that. what it is. I mean, that's fair. <laughs> no, I, I thought you were going to explain yourself because that doesn't make any sense. Nobody thought about that before? You don't have what to do you be. mean it doesn't make they sense, have. Anthony? It doesn't make sense. Oh, my God. Explain it, John. I can't wait. For, is it my turn to talk? Okay, here. So, first of all, no, I've don't been fucking, don't do that. Don't, is it my turn to talk? But don't fucking do that. See, if you're going to talk over me, then fuck it. But I'm just, you said I could talk. So, here's the deal Doug has been trying to break up with you for the past 10 episodes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> he constantly tells you, you know, he wants another co host. Uh -huh. He constantly tells you you're horrible what you do. Mm -hmm. you can't get a point across. If mm -hmm. you're going to put up something on the board, please have something to talk about, about yes. it. Just not because hey his name's Doug. Right. So I put it on the board. Right. right? All this shit. 
I mean, to be, he's trying to break up with you, but just doesn't know how because he's such a nice guy. Uh-huh. And, uh-huh. and, you know, he just you must be able to suck dick like nobody's business because there's no reason that, that Doug is still with you. I cannot see why. Uh-huh. But OK, but you just you hang on to that. Who's right train there, pal. Uh-huh. You keep going. Right. So how does that relate? Yeah, to Anthony. Anthony. Hang on to the who's right train. (laughs) (laughs) Right. So the gravy train. (laughs) So I I understand and I possibly even agree with everything that you're saying. But doesn't that make it worse for you? Because I'm I'm better than you and I'm that bad. So that makes you like so far down the fucking chain, right? I know you are so much better than me. Yes, I know. Mm -hmm. I know. I know. You can tear me down. To your level, but it's just it's not going to happen. See, listen, I, I understand you're doing this and I know why you're doing it, because what? we are about tonight in another two hours about ready to restart a show that is just going to go to the stratosphere in the podcasting industry. Oh, Jesus Christ. Just dude. so you know. Yeah, and it's rubberneckers 2.0. Oh, how and, the, first, and, how and the first one what? do and what I'm going to do? Hey, I don't know. The end of it was played on a lot of different podcasts. And Doug called it the most amazing podcast clip ever. But let me just say this. That in a year, when, the pod, when, when Robert Neckers is like in the stratosphere and you're uh-huh. looking for a new co-host because Doug moved on, uh-huh. I'm going to bring you on and not tell you what to do, what's going on, and I'm just going to shit on you. That'll be my revenge. Didn't, didn't you quit that show? <laughs> yeah, I did. I'm bringing it back. <laughs> hmm. Why? I, I can't. On. Hey, listen, I'm, I'm I'm pleading the Ninth Amendment because I don't want to say anything. I want to do it all on the show. OK, I, so I have. Dave, you are familiar with everybody that that is in here. Yes. Would you. So if we hit. Hold on. I got a board for this. Hold on. <laughs> OK, Dave, Great. you pricked. You knew you were coming on here and you didn't say a fucking word. <laughs> yeah, but, <laughs> I didn't know what it was about. I, I, I guessed, but okay. So here's know. what we're gonna do. We're gonna let <laughs> two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so Doug versus who? I'm making a, a fucking college basketball bracket. All right, we're let's find go, out. Who... So you got to go with uh, you got to go the best of the worst. So it's Doug and then Anthony. Okay, best of the worst. Jesus Anthony. Christ. <laughs> okay. Brady Kaya. Versus, versus Kaya. Well, that's Kaya. Well, that's how they do it in that's how they do it in the brackets. And you know, they that's put, how the big time podcasters do it. <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> podcasting. It's the one seat against the sixteen seed. <laughs> Jesus Christ, you moron. When they do brackets, it's the one against the sixteen. That's how yeah, it's done. You, you fucking moron. Yeah, what's wrong with you? Come on, Doug. He's a professional at sitting on his ass and watching basketball. Not <laughs> I've, I've got this thing so fucked up. <laughs> only six people. <laughs> okay. So by a vote, everybody, uh I or nay or whatever. <laughs> who's who is a better podcaster overall? Me or Anthony? You. I. Wait. <laughs> okay, so that's one you and one I. <laughs> Dave, say O, oh, and then Brady say sometimes Y. What? Okay, everybody say, Doug. just fucking vote. Fuck. Doug. <laughs> Doug. 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 Okay. Fuck all you guys. <laughs> Especially you, John. Okay, so Doug. Right. Okay, now Brady versus Kaya. Kaya. Brady. Kaya. Thank Kaya. you. John, Barely at this point, but yeah, still Kaya. Yeah. And Anthony, then, you have a vote on this one? Out. Okay. I, now, I said Kaya. Okay. Now Dave versus John. Dave. Dave. That shut you all the fuck up, didn't it? I, I don't know. Dave, I, wait, Dave is Australian. I'm going to go with John. <laughs> <laughs> Can I change my vote? <laughs> I might win this one. Just, just because he's Australian. <laughs> I want to change my vote because I think I might win this one now. Sorry, okay. I don't respect your people. Are we going with... Hold oh, on. yeah, you're triggered by the whole thing. Yeah, I get it. Is this, is this <laughs> who's Sorry. a better podcaster live or who puts out a better a better product? Either or, I guess. 
I'm changing my vote to me. I'm better than Dave. Look at me. He has no low. He's low energy. He's just sitting there. You could. You can't tell if he's actually alive. Look at him. I'm. I'm going with John. Okay, so that's I think, two. I think John. You just misunderstand that's, the whole point of podcasting, that's, that's John. Three votes against two, so it's me. I win. Hold on, Brady. Who did you? Who did you vote for? He voted Dave. For of course, he Dave. Did. Have you ever left a podcast in the first five minutes because you were angry? <laughs> uh, <no. laughs> All right, I vote for Dave. Is that a bad thing? Okay, so so Dave, so Dave wins. <laughs> it's not then. a bad thing. It just makes you. Makes me what, Brady? You fucking retards! Just fucking answer. I want to move I on. Dave. I won already. It's me, you, and Kai. It's three against two. Dave wins three oh. against two. Next round. Yes. John, no. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I vote John. John's right. in my left hand. Uh, Brady's in my right hand. No, Dave. And, yeah. No. <laughs> what? Yes. John and Dave. Yeah. Right. Uh, John's Anthony, who the fuck are you voting for? Between John and Dave? Yes. Dave. Dave. Kaya, who are you voting for? John. Brady, who are you voting for? Dave. Which one was that? That's a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dave, who are you voting for? Uh, me. Barely. But yes. John, who are you voting for? Me. So it's Ty. <laughs> okay, so you both win. <laughs> God, that was a waste of time. <laughs> <laughs> My fucking marker's dead. John. Okay, so Doug and Kaya. That's a tough one. I'm going with I Doug. Vote. I vote Kaya. Of course, you will. You suck up. <laughs> <laughs> you want someone else talk Santa Claus? I, I'm going with uh, nice Doug. One. Yeah, you better go with Doug. You know what's good for you. I. How can you say that though? What do you mean? Oh, anyway, I'm voting with. I'm going with Kaya. How can you say that though? <laughs> <laughs> because he, I could say Kaya start talking about what's going on in Australia right now, and he would just be able to start talking about it. And I could say, Doug, say something really stupid that makes me laugh. And you would say something really stupid that makes me laugh. That's the way, that's the way it works. So you're the whole. You're basically the whole of a two-man show. I like to laugh, dum-dum. What are you talking dumb about? <laughs> you can't carry a point, but I'm the dum-dum. Yes. Hey, so Brady's in here again. Does he get yet another vote? This is his third <laughs> time being in the fucking room. You should, you should subtract a vote from him. He can't stay in a in a live stream what is this okay. thing called live stream yeah th well this ain't fucking working <laughs> okay hey, kaya, this is your protege here he can't okay, so, stay in a live stream okay so doug and kaya tied and dave and john tied right so we're gonna tag team who wins Fuck, you know Wonderful. what well, great right on <laughs> disqualification <laughs> fucking assholes like yeah, how hard is it to painful. fucking vote do me a favor Brady, Edit you told me to show. come on with you and then you just sit there all mute and you don't do anything. I pulled Everyone's talking at once. Do you want me to ask John some questions? Fucking interject, you beta bitch. Be a man. I, Just toss I, out your ideas. I want yes, you to talk on talking. the show the way that you talk outside. Oh, John's such a bitch. I fucking hate John. John, this John. Yeah, and then you come on face. the show and don't say shit. <laughs> you know, I didn't even remember who he was until he, you, he showed up on the show today. Yeah, it doesn't fucking shock me you have amnesia. You're like 60. Calm down. <laughs> if you'd let me... I you want to shut up since we've started talking, so I can't talk. Can I talk? That's what makes a good podcast. Yeah, just go. keep talking. <laughs> yeah, go ahead, true. Brady. Talk. Hold on. I, mean, I guess we... Doug's just on the sideline, and John the Boomer is just running a show for him. Okay. You got me, Brady. <laughs> hot, the... hot take by Brady. Oh, my God. I'm still <laughs> waiting for that. <clears throat> John, okay. does it hurt your feelings that I know more about podcasts just from moderating a podcast? If that was true, I would jump out of a fucking tall building. Well, you better start climbing. <laughs> I mean, you have to take the elevator, obviously. But so, I know. Okay, no. So, do you do you think, John, that that Rubber Neckers 2.0 is going to take off? It's going to be a big show. I do. <laughs> Why? I, you're going to have to find out. <laughs> what you have to watch it. What am I going to explain the whole fucking show? Watch the show. Listen to it's the gonna show. It's going to be 10 oh, minutes no. and five minutes so, into it. He's going to okay. rage quit. Tell me why I should watch your show. Well, you're going to have to watch it to find out. That, no. You, you draw me in. Okay. So here's Jesus what Christ. I'm going to say. Here's what I'm going to say. It's 
four to six guys, maybe. Who oh, knows? God. <laughs> <laughs> okay. They're fucking around, fighting, arguing, uh-huh. talking about different topics, different takes, and huh. You never know who's going to be in the barrel, and you never know who the, the pile one's going to be about. That's you, I don't think I've ever seen a show like that. That's crazy. Well, hold on, hold on. Shut the fuck hold up! And let me finish, you moron. Hold and on. Probably the I, guy that's going to be in the barrel the most is me. So okay. if you love seeing me pile, John, one, shut the fuck up for a second. <laughs> okay, right, here, here's what I don't understand. Go ahead. The premise of the show you just described is this exact episode, <laughs> and you yeah. came in so fucking butthurt. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm fuck you, Doug. I'm not even friends with you anymore. <laughs> I, I thought you would realize I was joking, but okay, that's all. This I, th- we're fucking around right here. I'm not mad at all. I don't care. Yeah, you're. Hilarious. You think I care what Anthony thinks? Do you think I care what you, Brady thinks? He you should care. Yeah, you, you should, should care, care what I think. What I you think. should take notes every time I open my mouth. <laughs> John, there is some jealousy there. You don't said you that this was the don't new you. Honest John, the age of Honest John. Okay. Yes. Hey, Brady, don't you have to get in the car and go through a parade right now? So that's a yes. Hey. There's some jealousy there. Then, yeah. Well, hold <laughs> on. Change the subject so fast. Let let Dave let Dave have the floor. What was that, Dave? Uh, John is about to admit that there is some jealousy there, and that but that's part of what motivates him, what drives him. Who am I jealous of again? I forget. Anthony. Anyone under oh, 50. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm extremely jealous of Anthony. That's true. How could you anyone not be? That's, anyone that's more successful than you, John. Yeah, I mean, anybody that can sit there and get this much success doing as little as possible. Yes, I'm and very, then you try jealous. as hard as you can and get nothing. Uh, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Rubberneckers is going to go into the stratosphere. It, is this like your fifth show, sixth show? It doesn't matter how many shows. Nine. I've only done one. It's, it doesn't it does matter. matter. It has John no, has done it doesn't matter. John it has done matter. Nine. If one? it doesn't work, you stop and you go hey, do John. another one. Can I list all of your <laughs> shows real quick? Just... What? Can I list all of your shows? One is... He's trying to stutter out a sentence. <laughs> I'm not stuttering. You're just talking over me, you old boomer. Go ahead. All right. One is in the weeds. One is hate to wait. Wow, is that how, about how fat you are? One is God, brand this? X. Yes. One is unbelievably stupid. You're just describing okay, yourself. Yes, go ahead. The bear cave. You're probably bigger than a bear. Boomer okay. bunker. <laughs> That's true. The boomer bunker. Hey, Rubber let's neckers, talk about, the let's show you rage this. quit. Look, let's talk about right. the success of, of uh, the boomer bunker. We have tens of listeners. Ten listeners? I'm tens, what tens of listeners. Okay, at what point? So 20? What point do you just give up podcasting altogether? I'll never give up podcasting. Dude, I'm fucking retired. I got nothing else to do except go on a microphone and talk to people. What do I Anthony, care? He's got like a couple ma- years it's like you're making my point for me. I, I just work retired. a full-time job. I have a family. Yeah. Doug works a full-time job. He's got a family. And both of us carve out a small amount of time. And we're so successful compared to all <laughs> of the time <laughs> that you have to put I into this that. that you try so hard I and get nothing out of it. Can I ask Doug a question? Yeah, Does this go. make you furious to hear him talk about we, 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 when you do 99% of the work and he does dick? John. Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to, you're getting, this is a, the, the new age of honest Doug. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Without Anthony, this show would not exist. That, you believe that you don't think you could throw any monkey in that chair that can laugh and you could not do this show. <laughs> I fucking beg to differ. Okay. Okay. Beyond the- hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, Anthony, I, mm. Kai, look at Kai's eyebrows. He's he was like Kai wanted to shake his head. Yes, he. Hold on, he no, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna prove a point here. Okay, okay. Uh-huh. So I would I was gonna move all you guys backstage to ensure that you were quiet, but I'm not gonna do that. Brady, yes, you are the monkey in this situation. Do you understand? <laughs> yeah. Hold on, Anthony. I, I don't need you co-hosting right now. Sorry. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I'm not doing it. Fuck it. Whatever. Oh, shit. <laughs> I don't need you co hosting right now. That was great. <laughs> so, how about this? Anthony says he's be- better than John in every way, and especially yes. at podcasting. Yes. Okay. So, both of you guys start a solo podcast separately and do it for, say, a month. 
and see see who's more successful. Look at How the about that, Anthony. Look at the blood running out of Anthony's face. Look at it. But oh my God, what, <laughs> my face? what are you about? <laughs> you do too, just, Brady. I was thinking through how terrible your podcast would be, John. Wow, right. you were trying That's to figure right. out how you were going to do a podcast without Doug. That's what you were trying to think of. So your so, solo podcast. Okay, hold, Anthony, hold on, oh, Anthony. I I'm, I apologize for this. I know that we were never going to talk about it on this show. <laughs> okay, Anthony already does a solo podcast, but he wants to keep a separate <clears throat> audience, mm-hmm. and I know what the numbers are on it. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to share what it is because he doesn't he doesn't want it to be he doesn't want his listeners on that show to be because of this show. Right. But I, I can tell you, I know what the numbers are on that show. He might be a better podcaster than me because I can't podcast solo. Oh, or I might, have to, give, or I might have to give this up to him if that's actually true. <laughs> that's not a lie. And I might actually have to give that up to him because I cannot solo podcast. I can't. I've tried several times. I, I just, it doesn't work. Why, why do you keep podcasting? Because I like it. I enjoy it. Why do you care? Let me ask you a better question. Why do you care that I podcast? Why do you give a flying fuck what I do? Why because, do you care? because you pretend like what I say doesn't hurt your feelings, but then you get so butthurt and it makes me laugh so not, much. It, not, it, it, it's so funny to me that you pretend like you don't care, but you care so much what I think. Not, not one thing that anybody said in here tonight hurt my feelings at all. We're just in here breaking balls, having fun, mm-hmm. kidding around, mm-hmm. making jokes. That's what we're doing. Why is it so hard? Okay, it's just us girls here. Why is it so hard for people just to be honest? Okay, I, I am being honest. Not one thing that anybody said here tonight, even stupid Brady, not one thing that anybody said here tonight hurt my feelings at, in the least. Didn't bother yeah, me at sure. All. <laughs> Good job, Brady. <laughs> <laughs> Way to contribute. <laughs> nobody you think, nobody Brady? believes you, John. Nobody I, believes I'm you. I'm sorry. I'm, I don't know what to tell I'm sorry if you don't believe me. I would be, I I would be right honest. after this. To go in his little bed and cuddle under the covers and be like, <laughs> I'm I'm good at podcasting too. Okay, so so can I say can I can I'll be honest with you, okay? Uh <laughs> when I quit rubberneckers, I was quit. furious with that. Yeah, when I quit, when I rage quit rubberneckers, I was furious. Uh, so. I was furious with everybody. And I had to sit down and really do some soul searching and shit like that. Uh-huh. And then it came to the point where this doesn't make a what what anybody thinks, what anybody says, what anybody does doesn't make a bit of a difference. Uh-huh. And the reason that rubberneckers is coming back is because I believed in the show in the first place. And I still believe in it. Okay, so you're so not gonna what, be what, upset when they call you fat. No. What's different from rubberneckers to rubberneckers <laughs> 2.0? Uh, me. I'm different. I'm a different person now. You're not going to race quit? <laughs> no, but, I, don't, I don't think so. Hey, there's people betting money on when it's going to yeah, happen. I was about to say, can we have an over and under on this? Yeah, there's people. That I got, I'm taking action on five. The over and under got, five. I'm taking action. Anthony, have you you've interacted with John to know, does this seem like a new man? Nah. No, mm-hmm. you're, you're you're pretending like something like everything doesn't bother you, but it does. We know that it does. Uh, Just the way that you talk. No, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. If you say you don't care a hundred times, you care. You otherwise you wouldn't say it. You you just well, you keep accusing me of something that's not happening, and I'm just telling you it's not. Anthony, uh, last he's fucking sixty one now. Last year he was sixty. He's mature. I'm now. Sixty now. I'm sixty yeah. now. So listen, well, now you're mature. You've grown up. Brady, it's like when Brady's here. It's like trying to argue with a fucking retard. You cannot. <laughs> you, he's even 61. when you get, a, he was sixty. <laughs> Before that, he was fifty nine. <laughs> by the end of the show, by the end of the show, I'll be seventy. So, so since this is a hey, honest John, uh, tell yeah. me what you you said last night when you were editing somebody else's show and they they were dicking you around. What what did you say you wanted to do to that person? I wanted to smack him in the fucking head. <laughs> Right. Yeah, that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a new job that nothing, nothing gets to you. you. You can't handle it when people when people fuck with you. No, it's a different. That's well, first of all, it's apples and oranges. Somebody was fucking around with me. It was eleven thirty night. I was tired and they were being stupid, and I wanted to fucking punch him in the head. But that's a and different that's, story. And that's your client. <laughs> that was a client. Yes. <laughs> right. <laughs> Tell me one person here that hasn't wanted to punch their fucking boss in the head at least once. That's what right. I said. So can we can we be done with this whole thing now? <laughs> Please. <laughs> hey, hold on, wait a minute, minute. Brady. Wait One a last thing. nice word, Brady. Brady. So, hey, Connor. Yeah, what? Brady, you're the best podcaster. So, what's your one power tip for John? 
Because you, you want John to be a better podcaster, right? Okay, the first thing he can do is take that webcam and take a hammer to it. Good God, I cannot stand looking at you. Again, Brady with the zingers. It's hard to... Yeah. It's not a joke. I, can't compete with I, I know. I could tell it wasn't a joke because nobody laughed. <laughs> there's, there's, there's literally nothing funny about that. <laughs> you talked all this shit. I come on here for you, and you have nothing. No, I have plenty to I'm say. I just you keep know. Then interrupted. say it! <laughs> Jesus say it Christ. then. God, you're like a woman. You should know what I think. If you a have to ask, it's yeah. that means we, we shouldn't woman. be together anyway. He is a woman. You should know what I think, because that's not what a fucking woman says. I don't know what is. You never <laughs> listen. Just speak, Brady. Say right, it. Come on, John. Brady. Come on, Brady. Give it to me. Give it around. to me, Brady. Give it to me. I can't even speak. The old fucker doesn't stop talking. Go. But, John, if you want fucking six people on the podcast, you need six viewers first, okay? You have I'll no fan base. We'll get six viewers. We'll what? get six viewers. Okay, we'll get six viewers, and then we'll have six people on the podcast. That's yeah. not advice, Brady. Well, my that advice doesn't... is you're starting off with all these. You have more people than you have listeners. Brady. You don't have any fans. But how do you get fans, <laughs> Brady? <laughs> now I'm getting you annoyed. For podcast <laughs> advice, and you're saying get fans. <laughs> Imagine that John's starting from nothing. Look, hey, listen, I already have one black fan. See it? One black fan. There you oh. go, Brady. You think it's a coincidence? It's not my joke. Fuck. 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 Fuck, fuck, fuck. Brady. <laughs> I'm doing Brady jokes. One black fan, everybody. One black fan. All right. What? You know, it's going to suck that this is the last episode of Who's Right. <laughs> uh, okay, I got to be able to plug my show after all this fucking bullshit. The whole thing's been a plug about your show. <laughs> okay, is, is it is it actually called Rubberneckers or Rubberneckers 2.0? No, it's just Rubberneckers. Dave wants to make it 2.0. I don't know what the fuck he's talking. It's just Rubberneckers. Rubberneckers is coming back. It's not 2.0. Why don't right. you make it... Why don't you just call it Rubberneckers with Honest John and friends? <laughs> too long. I just think that's Rubberneckers. Just Rubberneckers. It's short, sweet, to the point. I love that you guys haven't even started recording and you, you guys ha are already arguing just about the title of the show that you've already been doing before. This show is going to be great. <laughs> yeah, I mean, okay. So, so is it the same feed or is it a new feed? <sighs> no, it's not a, the same feed because I uh, when I rage quit, I, I erased the old feed. <laughs> Hey, listen. <laughs> I, was in a, I was in a bad place. I did a lot of things. I, you know, I changed Bob's. So I why why would your co-hosts trust you now? Oh, they shouldn't. How? They really shouldn't, to be honest with you. <laughs> John, should there be a like trust third party custodian of the feed? So <laughs> is it a coincidence that every single co-host you've had left you? That's not true. That's what people say it about me true. too, right? You say you're taking shots at now, Brady. <sighs> yeah, Dave, Brady. <laughs> Dave, I got a question. All four yes. of you suck at I, I have a feeling. Brady, shut the fuck up. Dave, I have a feeling that this yeah. whole thing is just your plot to try to no. get John to quit again. It might be. I could. This could be a big, giant troll. I don't know. We'll see. So, hold on, hold on. John, do you think you said something about your rage quit going on all other podcasts and everybody thinks it's so great? Are you trying to pretend like... That was some sort of great moment for you in podcast. Like you get the credit for making <laughs> that happen. No, you stupid moron. No, I don't think that's a great thing. It just happened, and I'm not. I'm not worried about it. I'm. Like, it happened. It happened. I'm not going to cry about it. And I don't think it's a great thing. I'm just fucking around here. It was great. I'm, you what, was I'm, I'm sitting there. I almost dropped a glass. I'm sitting there listening to uh, who are these podcasts? And he says, "Oh, the cringe of the week is from Rubberneckers." I was like, "Fuck!" I know exactly. I what like was that coming. too because. Duck told me not to submit that, and then it turned out like like nineteen different people submitted <laughs> it <laughs> separately. So it didn't even matter that. I... <laughs> right. Hey, the the show I do with Devin, he submitted us, uh, and I was cringing a week again. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Doug managed to sell upward of what three t shirts from from that. Hey, so yeah. it, fat, 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 fat. Don't it, don't it, don't it, fat, fat, fat. I mean, come on, it's a household. It's a household saying now. Should be on doormats. So, okay, let's, let's talk about that since you bring that up, Dave. I, I heard through the grapevine that there was some agitation on your guys' end that I made shirts. No, who's aggravated? They're mad that they won't fit them. First of all, again, Brady with the zingers. Bam! Hard to recover from that. <laughs> so stupid. I, I, I was trying to get fuel uh, 
to, to John to convince him to start the show up again. And I wanted you to say, oh, we've sold 50 T-shirts. <laughs> but you said three, <laughs> something like that. So that right. didn't help. First of all, Doug said to me, do you mind if I sell T-shirts? I said, no, knock yourself out. And I wouldn't have cared if you sold a, th if sold a thousand. I wouldn't have cared. I wouldn't have cared. I said, I told him, sell as many shirts as you want. Three? You're, you're not going to convince people that you don't care if you just keep saying, I don't care. Dude, do you think what you want to think? Think what you want to think. I, I can't tell you. I can't tell you what to think and what not to think. Think what you want to think. There was a lot of that, a lot I was of things. Say, you said like you talked for five minutes and said nothing. <laughs> think what you want to think. Think what you want to think. Can't tell you what you think. Think what you want to think. <laughs> Got it, again, man. Again, I don't. I don't know what your angle is. I don't know what you want me to say. My angle. Well, I have the same to... angle I always have. Make me laugh, monkey. <laughs> I want to fucking laugh. <laughs> it's my angle always. God. Uh, how much credit do you think Anthony deserves? Like what percentage of the credit for where they are? Because I looked at the Who's Right Patreon graph. Um, they're doing pretty good. They've just been increasing ever since. Sure. Yeah, uh, the show's doing great. Year, so. Yeah. So how much of it is me? How much of it's Doug? According uh, to John. 99% Doug, 1% Anthony. Okay. Who the fuck is this? Well, Hi. Okay. <laughs> Brady, did you Brady, go around sending the link to random people? All right. I think no, it I says the People's Bank of Kansas. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, how about this, Kaya? When you hmm. discovered Doug and Anthony, mm -hmm. what, what percentage of it was Doug and what percentage of it was Anthony for you? That uh, compelled you to, to um, you know, give them a, a, a very big boost. It was like half and half because back then I didn't even bear, I barely even knew their names or anything. I, you know, I found them. I thought it was funny. I found them through who are these podcasts. I don't think that even while they were reviewing them, I don't think even Carl knew how to tell them apart. So it was just two <laughs> disembodied voices. That's awesome. <laughs> so there's your answer. 50 I mean, 50. John, what do you think? I just told you what I thought. Ninety-nine to one. I didn't stutter, did I? Well, you're not even including Kyle. Well, discrepancy, a milk cow. And just for the record, again, I, I've said this time and time again, and and I will not change my stance. John is a better friend to me than Anthony. I have went in public on with that. I've said it in private. <laughs> I've said it to myself. I, 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 I don't know I, what I, that has to do with anything. I don't know what that has to do with anything. But okay. We don't even talk and you don't even call me anymore, you bitch. <laughs> yeah, but you gave me eight hundred dollars when my hurricane flooded. I you know so, what I wish so I, would, I wish you wouldn't have known that. I, I you know, I just put it in there and I I, I But wish then I we wouldn't be, be friends anymore. Well, eight hundred dollars to have a friend. I you know, I just did it because your fucking hat floated away and I felt bad. So I mean that shouldn't mean anything. Uh, again, thank you for inviting me on here. This has been a lot of fun. I, I, I enjoyed it. Just <laughs> joking around. It's been fun. All right. And to be honest with you, after the show is over and if we were talking, me and Anthony would get along. Doug would get along. Kai, I don't know. I don't know you that well. Brady, you can go fuck yourself. I don't talk uh, to old people. See, so it's fine. I mean, it's fine. Hey, rubberneckers, we're going to start it tonight. Who knows? I, you know, we're just, we're going to give it a shot. We're going to see what we can do with it. You can Robin do 10 more podcasts, you'll never get any viewers. Robin <laughs> only exists because of who's right. So how does that make you feel, Doug and Anthony? <sighs> who's right only exists no, because of I want to know how that makes John feel. <laughs> fuck, fuck how it makes me feel. I don't care about that. I was just saying if that's right. Hold, hold on hold on a second. Hold John, on. That is correct. That is correct. It is not correct. Brady sure. said that who's right only exists because of Kaya. Well, and we were going long before Kaya even knew who we were. Correct. Yeah, but you didn't have viewers before Kaya found you. Yes, he Does somebody not exist if, if they don't have viewers? You're an idiot. <laughs> Pretty much. What the yeah. hell are you talking about? You're like Damn. every other fucker on YouTube with six The, the one person not on camera. <laughs> <laughs> Brady, could you, you couldn't be more of a gerbil trying to climb up Kaya's ass. I mean, Jesus Christ. <laughs> what the fuck? I'll, I'll say this, though, because I looked at the graph and, like, it's it's been a... I may have given them some initial exposure, but... Yeah. It's been a while also since we had Doug and Anthony on the show, so their growth over the last year, it's like entirely them. Yeah, but when you type... Even if like every other caller is a... 
Huh? You type Kaya <laughs> Orson into YouTube. Official, who's yeah. right, Pod Club? Right, because we've given Kaya exposure, dummy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> listen, right. I just want to listen. I just want to do a good enough job for one time that maybe. I might be able to be a guest host on the official podcast one time. Keep so then Brady will stick a gun in his mouth and blow his fucking brains out. <laughs> John, you realize. I so, so John. I, was, I was all against it until the very last thing you said. No, man. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to start a petition to get John yeah. on the official podcast. John, you realize I've been on the official podcast and I have like 300,000 views compared to you now? <sighs> Yeah, you're amazing. Thank you. That's That's true. Right. He was on for five minutes one time. See, now you're to a turtle in my ass. Sweaty is. <laughs> yes, Don. I no, will go on rubber deckers, and I will fucking get those views for you. Okay, Brady. Oh, please have Brady on. I'm done. Yeah, All right, bye, on. everybody. <laughs> <laughs> thank, oh, shit. thank you, thank you for having me on. It was fun. Brady, thank you for coming, for on, coming on. All right. Great job, Brady. <laughs> everybody was good except Brady. <laughs> Dave, do you got anything you want to talk about before I kick you out of here? Oh, there's this show starting up again called Rubberneckers. <laughs> Rubberneckers <All right>. 3.0. <laughs> like, it's like the, ma oh. the male view. What, why don't you just start the show yeah, without John already? Just already planning on starting without John on the 3.0. Hold, hold on. I, I do got to ask. Yeah. Are you, have you learned your lesson? Are you not going to let John control all the feeds? Yes. We've learned our lesson. Okay. John's, John's, yeah, and he's honest, John, and he's sharing John now. He's not, <laughs> he's not taking control of everything. So. John, the man of many nicknames. Yeah. What are you going to do if he rage quits? Yeah. Well, I'll try and get him back again. Why? Why do you want him? I don't think Brady how, understands. How, how did you, uh, how did you sweet talk him back for this one? You're not that uh, fat. Because I to I said, mark my words, John, Rubberneckers will be starting again with you. And he said no for months and months and months. And then <laughs> he finally listened to me. It's that simple. If I Kaya. say something's going to happen, it's going to happen. <laughs> yeah. Kaya, you and, John, you, and, John, you and Brady have a relationship. You, you just have a separate, you, you guys are friends, correct? Yeah, sometimes. Wow. Well. <laughs> yeah, sometimes. <laughs> okay, I, I Kaya, agree with that. <laughs> how many times have you made Brady rage quit anything? A lot. Oh, yeah. I mean, he made me rage quit once or twice, so I actually kicked him out of my server for like a month because I just couldn't bear him anymore. <laughs> just he's so insufferable to deal with. Today, I showed up with fucking clips. I was ready to have his back. I was like, okay, you told me this, this, and this. Let's go in there ready. I'm going to have your back. And then just sits there in silence, says nothing, gets all passive aggressive like a woman with her arms crossed. Saying, you don't even let me talk. <laughs> you didn't play one clip. Play a fucking clip. It just out of nowhere, we're, just no, we're, nothing. It's too late now, Brady. Oh, it's my we're fault. Not, you can't play a clip. John's not in here anymore. Uh, we're not gonna. We're not gonna beat up on him if he can't defend himself. Well, that's your fault, yeah. not mine. Play the damn clip or don't. I don't give a Why shit. Why don't you say don't Boomer again, everyone. Brady? That'll be funny. But anyway, mark my words. John will be guesting on the official podcast. <laughs> and it, will, <laughs> and it, it will be for how long were you on on Brady? You said five minutes. It will be for one second more than Brady. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Kaya, who is uh, mm -hmm. Brady seems to measure himself based on how many YouTube views his podcast appearance gets. That's, yeah. That seems to be Important. how he, he measures everything. So the mm -hmm. next time that you have a big guest on, can you have John on and – even if it's just a six minute audio clip that you put on at the end of the episode. <laughs> that would be perfect. Maybe. Uh, Everyone would just instantly unsubscribe. Brady, did you send this link out to a bunch of different people? No. Stop asking me that. Who, well, where are Somebody, these people coming from then? Somebody did. Maybe Bob did. I don't know. God, well, you're Bob the didn't have the link. All right. Bye, Brady. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Nice job. Wonderful. All right. <laughs> All right. Oh, uh, my God. Dave, you got anything else other than your promise to get John on the official podcast? <laughs> yeah, no, I think that's pretty good.
I'm happy with myself. <laughs> <for that. laughs> Thanks for coming on. Thank you. Yeah, See bye. you. Kaya. Yeah. You got anything? I don't know. How about you? Do you have any topics? <laughs> I, I, I would like to wash the taste of boring out of my mouth. I was expecting a <laughs> what did way you more think entertaining was show. What, what were you expecting? That's pretty much exactly what I was expecting. He talked so much shit behind the scenes and we were going to have fun and I was ready. Yes. And instead, again, he got nothing. It was just like last time. Technical issues and 10 minutes of silence. And then when right. he does talk, it's just passive aggressive. You guys never let me talk. And then, but Even then, though we're literally all shutting up for him too. And then behind the scenes, it's all just shit talking like crazy, you know? Yeah, I don't okay. know. I'm also mad that he sent the link out to like everybody in his fucking little boy harem. <laughs> boy harem <laughs> okay why why would he do that other than he's a fucking turd yeah i really don't know that's like my only explanation as well which is really annoying <laughs> yeah it, it kind of annoys me as well okay so i wanted to talk about this on the bonus episode i i have a conspiracy theory that i think is we are in the midst of i think that they are going to uh, vote in Hillary Clinton as oh. our vice president. All right. And then they are going to say that Biden is incompetent, which would move Hillary into the presidential spot. I think this whole thing can, has been a way to get Hillary into the presidency. Can they do that? Can they just vote somebody into the vice presidency? Yeah, you don't, you don't have to. It's not a public vote for vice president. So Kamala's out, Hillary's in? Yeah, like, so... So Kamala's poll numbers are like fucking gone. Oh, oh right? yeah. They can pull her out and put somebody else in. Really? Hmm. Huh. So, so then after they do that, then they say Joe Biden's not fit. Then Hillary Clinton's president. And then, then what happens? I don't know. I didn't oh. think, I <laughs> Did, <laughs> didn't think that through. <laughs> You I did. also don't know, but Joe Biden apparently said he's going to run again in 2024, at which okay. point he would be 82 or 84. Can y'all just stop? Can you stop electing dinosaurs? It's fucking enough already. It's awesome. I'm so tired. I think it's awesome. So tired of these fossils who don't even know what the internet is, who don't know what air flight is or anything. They don't even know that we've like been able to travel in the air or anything. <laughs> Probably still communicating via telegram, and you give these people the most powerful job in the country, and the world, really. I think it's awesome. I think we should. I think we should elect them again. I think it's fucking great. <laughs> I think all the reviews, whatever the like term limits are, to where you can only run twice. I think we need to get rid of that and let them run a third time. I don't give a shit. <laughs> it's fucking great. <laughs> I. So he's already talking about running again. Do you think he's even going to make it four years? I don't. I don't see him making four years. No, I don't even see him making the the other two years that he's left, or three. It's crazy. I we should just elect Brady. Honestly, <laughs> he'd never get anything done. Never. No. Hey, Mr. President, what about that tax raise that you're meant to sign into law? And then they're never gonna hear from him for like ten years. So, do you think that Hillary Clinton would do a better job than Joe Biden? Uh. <laughs> To find better, she's like a ruthless <laughs> demonic lizard. <laughs> hmm. God damn it. What? Uh, you can't fucking see that. Fuck. Okay. So I got this list of conspiracy theories. Uh huh. And I was thinking that we could <clears throat> do something with it. Okay. But I wasn't ready to do anything with it right now. But since we have nothing to talk about, because that whole thing was a <laughs> fucking, <laughs> train fucking wreck. train wreck. Um, so now yeah. I'm over here trying to edit this fucking picture so I can show it on the fucking screen. <laughs> so I, if it's if it's what I think it is, I think it's like an updated version of something that that person made last year, where they say that you know the bottom is stuff that was proven, and then yeah, it goes up like that. What well, the the one that they made last year. Uh, like towards the top of the pyramid, it says it says something like, "If you believe these, then it's dangerous to society," or something like that, right? Yeah. Oh, that fucking thing. Yeah. So the one that they that made fucking... last year had the the 
the coronavirus being coming out of a lab in China as something that is dangerous to believe, you know, like they just they just took that off of there because well, it was kind of proven true, uh, right? OK, yeah. So that that's why I wanted to I was trying to get this on screen. Yeah, <clears throat> because even now. So it's hold on, I'll just give me a fucking second. There's so many goddamn people in here. <laughs> I can't see what I'm trying to fucking. I'm going to end up. All right, we're going to we're going to I'm going to start kicking people. Start with Brady. Oops. I'm going to end up fucking doxing myself like I always fucking do. Don't do it. There we go. Okay, can you see my name anywhere on here? <laughs> <laughs> nope. Okay, the so the way this Cointel Pro. The way this works is it's broken up into things that actually happened. We uh -huh. have things we have questions about, unequivocally false, but mostly harmless, dangerous to yourself and others, and world ruled by supreme shadow elite promotes hatred and violence towards marginalized groups. Uh -huh. Okay. <clears throat> so it, it, what they're saying is if it's in the bottom here, it's okay to believe in it because they have proof that it happened. Right. So there's really no point in talking about any of those because they're true. Right, right. Okay, so we have Free questions. Britney? Wait, wait. What? How's Free Britney a conspiracy? <laughs> free Britney? <laughs> it's right, right up there with Watergate. <laughs> oh, this actually tw trended on Twitter, you guys. It's real. <laughs> okay. So here's where the... It says we have questions. Uh-huh. JFK assassination. Okay, so... There's a, a narrative that's pushed, which is single shooter. Yep. Uh, book depository. Grassy Knoll. No, that's conspiracy. <laughs> oh, my bad. <laughs> I don't know what's true and what's not. <laughs> okay. This skank so, put Jimmy Hoffa's dif disappearance and UFOs in the same category. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I mean, why do you say that? Do, do you think that? Do you think that Jimmy Hoffa di disappeared? <laughs> There's no proof of that. Well, it says leaving reality. So we're leaving reality. If you question like, hmm, I wonder if Jimmy Hoffa got whacked by the mob. That's now I'm, I've am i left reality. I think, I think ab that? above that is leaving reality. I think that like that's the line, you know, but but Jimmy Hoffa disappearance oh. is right near. You're just about to leave reality if you believe Jimmy Hoffa disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so we live in a simulation. OK, that to me is. As fucked up as Flat Earth. Yes. Okay. Epstein didn't kill himself. Like, that's just a fact. We know that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> to, to say that we us living in, in, in the fucking Matrix is equivalent to Jimmy Hoff, Hoffa disappearing tells me that this list may not make... <laughs> so stupid. Yeah. Charles Manson is a CIA asset. Isn't there a bunch of evidence that points to that? I don't, that, I don't know. Anthony, I was kind of thinking that in the future, maybe we can just. I think my house just got hit by a tree. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to set up a GoFundMe real quick. <laughs> you want to get John back on real quick? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, um, Anthony, I was thinking in the future, maybe we just pick one of these. Because, uh -huh. like, we live in a simulation. To me, that just sounds like nonsense. Right. So maybe we could do a deep dive into a conspiracy theory. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Okay. Uh, moving up. Unequivocally false, but mostly harmless. Okay, I don't know how you can say anything or all of these are unequivocally false. U.S. as a corporation is unequivocally false. Okay. <laughs> it, it operates exactly like a corporation, right? I mean... <laughs> The Titanic, Titanic, the never sank. Titanic never sank. Uh, yeah, <laughs> these are pretty fucking harm. I, I, what, did, what did I mean mostly harmless? All of these are so harmless. What harm does it cause to believe Avril Levine was replaced? <laughs> so the only one on here that I know anything about or that I could speak on would be that the Titanic never sank and it was all an insurance fraud. Really? That they sank. They they sank the sister ship to the Titanic. Huh. And there's no. lots and lots of proof that that points to that. In so, the pictures and everything. 
what would what would be the like huge conspiracy theory about Stevie Wonder not being blind? He's just a musician that plays piano, right? He's not blind. Is yeah. that earth shattering? If, if if it turns out that this guy that plays piano and sings isn't blind. I have also literally never heard of anybody saying Greta Thunberg is a time traveler. Everybody just says she's a little autistic twerp that needs to shut the fuck up. No one thinks she has some insight from the future. I, th I think she has fetal alcohol syndrome, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Could have foreseen that in the future, I guess. Soy boys, hold she, up, scroll up. Let's get she, to the good stuff. She can she can time travel back to the past. My parents shouldn't have drank while they were pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so th this one, if you believe these, they're dangerous to yourself and to others. <laughs> Soy boys? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it, it starts off with, I don't know what Tartaria is. I've never heard of that before. Me neither. Me neither. But jet fuel doesn't melt steel, be steel beams. That's dangerous. So, That's dangerous to think that. <laughs> but I think that is one way to summarize that 9-11 was a conspiracy theory. Right. Mm -hmm. or or maybe i don't think i phrased that right but you know what i meant anyway, yeah yeah so I, I for one believe that that whatever it is that the news has said there's there's shit in there that's not true right okay no so, I, I i agree with that 100 percent. so but shouldn't this be down I'm, like most of these like we have questions right all of these we this is just a basically a way of telling people to shut the hell up <laughs> Like, shut up. This is already settled, you know? Right. That That's what this is saying is that yeah. this is this is unequivocally not true. That that means that it's false. <laughs> <laughs> right. U.S. presidential election was stolen. Yeah. I wonder if they if they had this on the list in 2016. That, that's what I was just going to say. Which election are we talking about here? Because <laughs> they yeah. were they Biden were is a saying... robe. <laughs> Biden is definitely not a robot. I've seen those DARPA robots. They can actually move and stand upright. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck phantom time is. So, <laughs> is that like hammer time? <laughs> <laughs> so it, when they say global, they have a way of wording this like global warming is a hoax. I don't know that the argument is that global warming is a hoax. I think that the argument is, should we destroy all of free enterprise because of global warming? Right. That's the argument. Like they're, they want to destroy all business to try to save the environment or whatever. And that's what people are against. It's not that global warming is a hoax. I, br I brought Dave can, back can, in. I didn't realize he was still sitting back there. Well, can someone tell me why giants trees are dangerous? So Dave, if, if you're aware of any of these things, or yes. not that's fine <laughs> well, Doug, you said we don't live in a simulation H how do you know because it sounds dumb to you yeah that's it that's all you got how do you know we do it's much more easy it's much easier to create a simulation than an actual universe we're much more likely to be a simulation all right i'm kicking dave back out <laughs> <laughs> so wait a, wait a minute wait a minute so just because it's easier means it's true that's your that's your argument your line of yeah. argument is oh, it's true. easier so it's probably true more likely okay hold on hold on that's so are you idea. no hold on are you telling me that somebody some programmer somewhere created a simulation and yes. when he got to my character <laughs> he said i'm gonna have this guy jerk off into socks <laughs> Have you ever played <laughs> Sims? Yeah, you should be grateful you didn't drown in the pool <laughs> with the stairs disappearing. <laughs> do, do you know what tar Tartaria is, Dave? Uh, no, I do not. Is that like some kind of sauce? I I really have no idea. All right, you let's put on seafood. That's the best we, thing we will let no stone go turned. <laughs> Maybe it is turned or something. Oh. See, uh, that's what I'm it's saying. A lot of these are like... lost in history. What'd you say? Oh, it's like Atlantis. Who gives a well, shit? Like How's this dangerous? Civilizations. Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. But a lot of these are just the way that they word these, like the pandemic or whatever. Again, nobody, only idiots are saying it's a pandemic. What what we're saying is that they're using in this opportunity to take control. Those are two completely different things. <clears throat> No, there are people mm -hmm. that are saying 
Anthony, just idiots. Yes, idiots. I know there are people who are saying that, but they're idiots. Dude, motherfucker, you're retarded. You're as retarded as the person that made this list. This, <laughs> the person that made that. this list is saying there was no pandemic. Right. And you're arguing with her saying, that's not what we're saying. What we're saying is that they're using this as an opportunity to yes. take control. Yes, because I'm looking at the rest of this and I guarantee you she's writing pandemic, but thinking if you don't think COVID is the new <laughs> fucking plague. So now, now you know what she was thinking when she made this list. Yes. She's thinking, duh, oh, duh, yeah, you I'm can kind of tell. Duh, duh. Stupid. Okay. What about uh, ivermectin cures COVID? So, is there anybody that thinks that it cures COVID or is there people that think that it, it reduces the symptoms or, or mitigates the symptoms? I've never looked into ivermectin. All I can tell you is that if they are pushing back this hard specifically against ivermectin and not any of the other treatments, not anything else, but specifically just this one thing, it probably works. It probably cures COVID. That's what I, that's what I think that why the fuck else would they be pushing back against it? So the, goddamn hard. The one thing that I can say is I know for sure ivermectin affects Pfizer's bottom line. Right. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. But it's also just a treatment. Doctors actually prescribed as far as I know. Let's go up. I'm curious what else this brought us. Uh, you want to, you are you sure conspiracy. you want to cross this anti-Semitic point of no return? <laughs> <laughs> I did years ago. <laughs> so <laughs> let's before go. We, before we go up, I want to know if, if I'm the only one in here that questions the moon landing. Uh, I think we landed on the moon. I, th I think so. Yeah. yeah. Could be. I go either way. Yeah, I mean, Australia had a great part to play in the moon landing. I won't go into it because it'll just trigger you guys. Did you? Did they really? Australia did? Yeah. Get into it. Are I you sure you don't it. mean America? <laughs> <laughs> yes. I mean, it was 99% uh, yeah, America, 1% Australia, maybe. So it's yeah, the, the it's so it's large the same, part. <laughs> it's the same ratio as who's right there. <laughs> right. right. <laughs> Perfect. The parks, the parks radio telescope was used to send messages because the oh, earth spin, earth spins around. So we borrowed a radio a radio from you guys. <laughs> and you guys get credit. That's what you're saying. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's cool. Okay, okay before they, before they we made move a, up. Just, just hold on, Kaya. They made a movie about that whole, that just that, the Parkes telescope and the moon landing, and entire. And it went, it went like this. Hey, can we borrow your guys' telescope? <laughs> yep. God, Australians are awesome. <laughs> we ought to, we ought to make a short for our YouTube channel, Anthony. <laughs> about the Australians contribution to the moon landing. <laughs> yeah. It, it's like, I've got the moon rovers built and everything ready to go. And I'm like, Hey, who, who's got the telescope? Where the fuck? We don't have a fucking telescope. And then you can come out of the bush. Crikey's. <laughs> Crikey's. We have one. <laughs> That's not a telescope. This is a telescope. <laughs> And that's why Anthony's more than one percent of Bruce Lee. <laughs> right? Because of his his perfect timing of crocodile <laughs> Dundee references. Exactly. <laughs> okay, move up. Oh, I'm too right. teased. Let's go. Oh boy. Oh. <laughs> oh, can you tell me how it's anti-Semitic oh to say George Floyd is a crisis actor? <laughs> what does that have to do with the Jews? <laughs> okay, look at this one. Right. Look at this one right here. Right in the middle. <laughs> trans, trans agenda. <laughs> That's anti-Semitic. Okay, so... Nazis on the moon. What the fuck? These are the ones that say oh, yeah. you're pretty much crazy if you believe any of these, right? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Deep State. I, I guess I just thought that was real. Like, I didn't even think it was a conspiracy. <laughs> it's, it is. There are no. people who... There are people who are in government who have been in government for fucking 50 years. That's... Oh. That's it. That's what the deep state is. That's all they mean when they say that. Are you telling me three letter agencies have some control over the governments? <laughs> right. No, it's crazy. <laughs> it's fucking crazy. Okay. Let's just go down the list. So flat earth. Is there anybody that believes flat earth is, is real? 
There's like seven people on Earth who believe the Earth is flat. Who gives a shit? How's this dangerous? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Where's, where's the dangerous part come in? No, no, I'm, I'm asking you guys. I, I'm just going down the no. list. Is there, okay. Dave, do you believe the Earth is flat? No. Okay. Of course not. Dave, do you believe that the protocols of the elders of Zion? <laughs> <laughs> that sounds anti-Semitic, but I don't know what it means. <laughs> uh. Illuminati in scary letters. What about that? <laughs> oh, for sure. Not to the scary letter level. <laughs> <laughs> just can you just write it normal. It might be a small. I, I don't Illuminati, but not. Oh, I don't know about like if they would call themselves Illuminati, but you right. cannot convince me that there is not like a group of rich people conspiring together to keep their wealth and expand it. No way. Duh. I mean, that's that's, that's what that's yeah, what you do you. when you have wealth. <laughs> Yeah, rich right. people hang out at hang out at parties and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No shit. All right. What about reptilian overlords? <laughs> that's mm. that's my daughter's favorite. If that helps, <laughs> that's her favorite conspiracy <laughs> theory. She talks about it all the time. <laughs> yeah. No. Holoc- Is there anybody that truly believes the Holocaust didn't happen in this group? I can't even legally say that. Being in <laughs> 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 can't even legally say that. <laughs> okay, so Kaya, hypothetically, let's say you lived in a place where you could say whatever you wanted. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Is it, know what happens? <laughs> isn't the argument that just not as many people died as they say? I've never, I've never actually looked into it. I, I, it, it seems like something that I don't care about, so I don't really look into it. But isn't the argument that instead of seventy trillion people, like sixteen people died or something? Isn't that the argument? <laughs> It was just a bad train wreck. Yeah, train wreck. <laughs> they actually were showers. Yeah. <laughs> Summer camp. <laughs> okay. The hell is an adrenochrome? So Adrena- adrenochrome. Yeah, isn't that some kind of a chemical that they inject into you or something? I don't. Uh, you, I think you extract it from babies. Or, or oh, that, like that. Yeah, that's what it is. Oh, like, is it the uh, foreskin thing or something? No, I think it's like the the fountain of youth, right? Is that like they, 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 I don't know, take it out of babies and inject it into people so that they live forever, but it kills the babies. That's, that's why the the queen's never going to die. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm just trying to keep up. I just now opened a tab to try to type that in. Whatever. (laughs) Uh, the great replacement. I mean, I think there's evidence of that, right? It seems like no, no. Just explain. I I don't know what any right. of this means. Explain it to me. It means that they are trying to import immigrants to replace the the population of the country. Like it's not going to be whatever country, Specifically whatever white people. Yeah, right? it, whatever your major population right. is, they're going to import immigrants so that your eventually your population is not made majority white. I don't I mean, believe they're, they're... this specifically, but you can't go a single hour these days without seeing another news article celebrating like how white people have fewer children and stop having white babies and whatnot. Right. But aren't they just trucking people in here? Like, as if it's Auschwitz? Like, United States is just a big <laughs> Auschwitz and they're just <laughs> bringing people in? <laughs> yep. I think they are. Okay, secret satanic rituals. <clears throat> That's a fact. I mean, most yeah, satanic really rituals gay. are secret, right? I was going to say, how many public satanic rituals do <laughs> yeah. you know of? Yeah. Um, Doug, you had a Satanist on your show. Right? Yes. The pansexual guy. <laughs> yeah, but that's <laughs> just yeah. atheism for edgelords. At, <laughs> yes. at that level, yes, there's secret satanic rituals. Whatever the hell he gets up to. No, I, I think whatever that... he gets up to. <laughs> yeah, whatever pansexuality is. <laughs> Anthony, you and I talked about... Um, some it's where rich people go it's like a camp and they have they have rituals i can't remember the name of it uh, grove something grove uh, yeah fuck Hmm. yes bohemian grove there you go yeah you got it yeah yeah so that that's like a fact i mean that's it's on google (laughs) (laughs) but yeah i think they just they try to say it's not satanism right it's just this is where the rich people go it's It's not not satanism we're just sacrificing to our overlord right it's no big deal <laughs> don't worry about it okay what about george soros in big letters 
yeah, I mean, he's, he's a real person, right? Right. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's dangerous to believe that this guy that exists exists. What What is the conspiracy <laughs> theory surrounding George Soros? Uh, he's uh, that he funds a lot of left wing Jewish shit to but usher in the destruction yeah. of the universe. <laughs> Just so. Yeah. He said, doesn't he? But Kaya kept talking. Yes, he does fund a lot of stuff. Sorry. The, the, the reason is that that's the that's the dispute. People think he's doing it to destroy the United States and he thinks he's doing it or he says he's doing it to spread justice or something. I don't know. <laughs> Give spread, I'm spreading Jew justice across the land. <laughs> Jew justice. I love it. All right. Sandy Hook is fake. Are we even allowed to say that? <laughs> you can't uh, get in saying that. <laughs> <laughs> right. So is there, a, that's all like the crisis actor shit, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. What's his face? Um, Alex, Alex Jones. Jones lost his um, court case about that recently, actually. Didn't he lose it ago. by default because he didn't show up? I don't remember. I, but I, I think he has to pay settlement now, so he's fucked in the ass. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he just didn't show up is why he lost. But I, I don't know that 100%. How, how much did he have to pay? Do you have any idea? Oh, it's millions of dollars. Okay, no. then I would like to go on record and saying that Sandy Hook was real. <laughs> and, I, and I am for it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe there's a class action suit we can get on, get some of that Alex Jones money. <laughs> <laughs> emotional damage yeah what about hollow earth uh that no, one goes right along like with really the geek. reptilian overlords right my daughter tells me about that yeah <laughs> how how would we know whether one if it's a conspiracy not a conspiracy or if we care why we don't know what is in the center of the earth Yes. Why do yeah, we care? Yeah, it's kind of suspicious, yeah. right? How they're like, oh, the, the core of the planet is molten yeah. lava. Don't go there. Don't get don't go there. <laughs> <laughs> Put that old, old shovel down. Old, old, Stay a cabal, out. Cabal of geologists all lying to us. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's believable. And, yep. Uh-huh. <laughs> all right. Uh, New World Order. That's... I mean, that was wrestling, so that's real. We know that. <laughs> <laughs> that was like that. That one's been around since like fucking the first George Bush, right? Wasn't he the one that kind of coined that term? I, I, I guess so. I thought I it. I think it was yeah. one of your presidents. I only know that because it, that was a ministry song, and they used the clip of him saying that. <laughs> New World Order. <laughs> We're not about to make that same mistake. Uh, trans agenda. I have no idea why that's on here because that that. That is apparent. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't, I, mean, I, I don't understand how they argue against that one. <laughs> I mean, drag right. queens teaching, um, reading the reading children's books to kids. Right. Um, I mean, Anthony and I talk about what you know our breaking points are, and that was the breaking point for me. The, that was <laughs> that was the one. <laughs> yep. No, no. That's what got me. Wow. Well, in some countries, they'd straight up take your children away if you refuse to, like, give a 14-year-old hormones and a mis double mastectomy. It's like, well, I mean, I think that happens in agenda. Canada, right? And Australia, yeah. I think there was one there, too. One girl. Okay, Crazy. Dave, so, so, Dave, you spend a lot of time bad-mouthing America and yes. how fucked up we are. And you right. spend a lot of time in Australia, right? Yes. Okay, <laughs> just making sure. So is it true that in Australia, they will take your kids away if you don't cut their dicks off? I haven't heard of that. God, it's such like explosive language. <laughs> <laughs> but, but yeah, I mean, trans people are trying to get government funding to uh, get their, uh, what, what's it called now? Gender affirmation surgery. Yeah. That's, that's the latest language. Yeah, here so, I found no, what, 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 what I wanted to know is news sites. if if America is so bad and Australia is forcing you to cut your kids' dicks off, whether they want you to or not, <laughs> how then how bad is Australia? Or how can you sit there and say that Australia is better than America? Because you know what? If somebody comes to cut my kids' dicks off, I've got to if I wasn't a, <laughs> you better be careful. <laughs> <laughs> They've got to be careful whose house they go into because that person could have a gun. Right. <laughs> uh, I mean, if you do an 
any kind of multi-criteria analysis comparing US and Australia. No. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Australia always <laughs> comes back, up, back comes the boat up. up. <laughs> what? <laughs> We've talked about this before. Yeah, but yeah, you said I don't want to sit here and listen to an Australian cra- cope and seize and defend this fucking clown country. My- or you Americans. <laughs> so, okay, wait, hold on. Uh, first of all, I heard yesterday that, yes. they, that the, the army is taking COVID positive patients and putting them in camps. Oh, is that true? I, mean, I, I'm just, I just want to know if it's true, Dave. Yes, it's true. Don't, don't tell anybody. Are you, I, is that good or bad, Dave? <laughs> I, I didn't say don't tell anybody. I'm asking you if you think it's good or bad. Final getting rid of them abos, huh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right, we're, we're not going to get anything out of Dave. All right. <laughs> oh, no. Apparently, Australia doesn't allow you to talk freely either. <laughs> Cultural Marxism. <laughs> I, I'll move on. Rothschild uh, Central yeah. Bank. <laughs> I'm part. I'm part of the problem with cultural Marxism. So yes, you are. I agree. Wait, yeah. how? What, what? I no. I'm just asking. Somebody tell me what the fuck it is. I don't know what it means. I know a guy named Mark, and I know what cultural it is. It it's basically they are from through the school systems. They are indoctrinating people to believe that communism is the way forward and capitalism is bad it through through the culture not through actual laws or not through anything that where they force anything it's just making people feel like okay communism now, stop is talking good. thank you stop talking so if i go on any social media right now all i i'm flooded with people talking about how bad capitalism is uh-huh. and how communism is the way to go uh-huh. how would that have happened if it wasn't from the schools because it wasn't brought up at home yeah, it wouldn't. So how can you sit there and tell me that this doesn't exist, Anthony? <laughs> I don't, I don't <laughs> think I did. <laughs> well, I, I, how, I want to okay, know so, part so of So now it. are you going to tell me that Jewish space lasers aren't real either? <laughs> lasers. <laughs> I want to know. I want to go back. Dave said he was part of the problem with cultural Marxism. I, I want to know how. I mean, from your point of view, I'd be a cultural Marxist. I mean, I also love capitalism as well, so. So would you be a shitty Marxist? <laughs> yeah, he's, yeah, so you'd be a really shitty Marxist. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm ready to bow down to the Chinese, basically. Oh, God. Get you, want, you want to bow down to the Chinese? Is that what you said? Uh, what? What's your problem, Kaya? <laughs> Nothing. No, I, did, I didn't hear <laughs> what you said, Kaya. Dave. Don't just make noises. Not, You're a professional podcast. Here's my conspiracy <laughs> theory about the Australians. I think you guys are genetically bred to be subservient. Like, you used to be a prison colony, and I think any time, okay. uh, like, prison oh, riots okay. started, they just called all of the ones of you who made too much noise, and all that was left was the yelping puppies who would immediately bow down <laughs> and okay. roll over. And that's, like, your lineage, and it shows. Okay. Like, yeah, they're putting us on trains. I accept our Chinese overlords. <laughs> Okay, so. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. I might have heard heard that a thousand times before. Have you got anything original to say? Do you you, you have have anything anything to defend yourself? (laughs) If you've heard it a thousand times, you've had plenty of time to prepare a response. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Yeah, and my response is I'm better than all of you. (laughs) So that's my response. (laughs) All right. Uh, you're better than Americans. That's not impressive. <laughs> Fuck Wait a you. I'm not an American guy. Huh? <laughs> yeah, and I would never defend Germany. Wouldn't cross my mind. Fuck. Fuck every. Fuck every country. I have no loyalties. <laughs> Hold on. Dude, I want to do it. Does it seem I, like I have a loyalty to America? <laughs> so no borders. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Doug, Doug really doesn't want to have this conversation. <laughs> no, let's, let's do it. Go let's, to, to... let's just go to the best one. George Floyd crisis actor. <laughs> well, he because should get a, a fucking Emmy. <laughs> <laughs> best drama actor. <laughs> what a, so what, a, what about the... You thought that was way too funny, guy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Just the imagery was in my head. What Hollywood about- is turning your kids gay. I, isn't that fact? 
Yes. 100%. They're pushing it too much. Yeah, I don't know if they're necessarily turning my kids gay, but man, they're really trying. <laughs> what, <laughs> what's the conspiracy about Nazis on the moon? I think that they have a base on the moon. <laughs> they have a base camp on the moon. Yeah. I've never yeah. heard that before. Some of the Nazis they escaped fled there. To the moon. They, they escaped to the moon, right? Is that yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just, I don't know what Nasara is. Yeah, I was about to ask that too. Hook what, it. What is, don't just fucking that, gloss uh, over Nazis on the moon. What? <laughs> Nazis are so old school. I don't oh, know. Oh, God. It's called Iron Sky. What is Nazis? On why the moon? do we why do we keep finding Nazis on the moon? Why am I just now hearing about this? <laughs> why do we why do we keep finding them? <laughs> Scientists discover Nazi monuments on the dark side of the moon. <laughs> Fucking is, that, is this on the same paper as Bat Boy? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! Wait, so there's Nazis on the moon and Jews have space lasers on in like? Are they fighting Star Wars? <laughs> Maybe we're just caught in the middle. <laughs> the Jewish space lasers and the Nazis on the moon. <laughs> All right, so now I, my Google history tonight is just <laughs> fucked up. Jewish space. Do you guys lasers. have any like? I think that's like something one of your senators said that like the Jews oh, have lasers the, the, that they yes, used the to dumb one. start that fucking, wildfires. Uh, Marjorie is, Taylor. I don't know her name. Yes, yeah. she is such an idiot. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> yeah. So I don't even it's need Google. I got there. you guys. Yeah. <laughs> that's exactly what it is. Mm -hmm. All right. What about Nasara? What? Yeah. What's Nasara? Dude, I looked I it know. up I and I don't understand what I'm reading. <laughs> Me neither. Nasara. So National you. Economic Security and Recovery Act? Yeah. Isn't that like, isn't that what they just signed? National Economic Security and Recovery Act. Isn't that what they just signed or is that something different? I'm so here's confused. The second paragraph in Wikipedia says Nasara has since become better known as the subject of a cult-like conspiracy theory promoted by some person. All right, uh, also so known as what it is is oneness. a decades-old conspiracy theory whose followers believe all their debts will be magically canceled. Oh, somebody at work believes this. They were telling me that. They were tell they were serious. They they, I, they said some Sorry. other word besides Nasara, but they said it doesn't matter how much bills you have, just look it up as soon as Trump takes back over or whatever they're going to implement this and all debt is going away or i was oh so God. confused it was he thinks trump is still gonna win yes they yes there are several <laughs> people at my work who still oh, think yeah. today they still think <laughs> that donald trump is going to be implemented as president they are lunatics yeah, I, I work with somebody who thinks donald trump is still president jesus what the fuck <laughs> Okay, here's my conspiracy theory about Trump. This is something I actually believe in. Do you guys remember back in January, I want to say, he shut down the government for like a month? Yes, I do. My sister so was... So yeah, he shut yes. down the government, right? The federal government. And that lasted like a month. And everybody was starting to wisen up like, wait a minute. The federal government is shut down, but everything still works. Our yeah. roads are still paved. The police yeah. is still funded. The schools are still open. I call the uh, firefighters. They still show up. Hmm. What's going on? And I genuinely think the three-letter agencies pulled Trump aside and they said, listen, cocksucker, they're starting to notice that like 80% of their taxes go to us and we don't do fucking anything. So you're going to stop this. You're going to call this fucking quits or we're going to JFK you, cocksucker. And they like showed him an angle of the assassination from a different angle or something. And he just went away because he like, he, he did a full 180 overnight. He was like, yeah, we're going to take the capital. And then the next morning it was like, go home. Go ahead. We're done. That's my fucking conspiracy theory about him. Yeah. I, I think they came out and said right on the news, like one of the uh, former directors of the CIA or somebody high in the government said, I can't believe Trump is doing this. The CIA has, you know, seven ways from Sunday to screw him. I can't believe that he's going against them. Like just. It was like the, he just dropped the mask for a second, you know what I mean? And, but he actually said something like that. It's crazy.
Yeah, it was dangerous. People started to wake up like, oh, wait a minute, 80% of my taxes don't go to actually paving the roads. Like I always tell people who don't want to pay taxes, it goes to just overseas torture chambers where we waterboard <laughs> dissidents. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't even know that they're overseas. They found a bunch of them in Chicago. Weren't they just running warehouses <laughs> in Chicago where they just torture people? Probably. Wait, do, you, do you think they're using like special mineral water to waterboard people? <laughs> <laughs> like the fizzy kinds that burns extra in your nostrils? <laughs> they use cola. <laughs> we, got, we got an unlimited budget. Get the good water. <laughs> All right. Are we done? Are we, we done? done? Sure. Yeah. Mm, I guess. Mm. All right. We gotta I'd like our... to apologize on Brady's behalf. <laughs> that kind of that whole thing fell flat. I am I am disappointed. You would that think that too. we would all learn. Just don't bring Brady on. <laughs> that's. I mean, that's pretty. I think that's pretty par for the course for Brady, right? Yeah, that's what we get for giving people second chances. Right. Let that be a lesson to you, Dave. Hint, hint. <laughs> uh, well, hold, hold on. What this wasn't a super five? chat, but look at this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, Say the yes, line, yes, Dave. Yes, it was. <laughs> oh, Dave, read, yeah. read that comment, please. Is this the guy who says, fat, fat, donut, donut, donut? <laughs> <laughs> Didn't even get it right. <laughs> I know. <sighs> how, how would you... Oh, that would be awesome if John's good driving down the road or something and say, like, hey, it's the donut, 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 fat, fat, fat guy. <laughs> That's his claim to fame. <laughs> All right. Oh, Go ahead, Anthony. Oh, my gosh. Get Fatty Fritzy Ulysses in here. Make this bitch Hollywood Squares. Thanks for the funny episode. My kitten ran away and I've been feeling down. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, thanks for bringing us down. Yeah, that's terrible. Hopefully it comes back or she or whatever. Uh, John and Dave both look different, like different mixes of Doug and Antoine put together. <laughs> awesome. I, I was kind of surprised because there was a shit ton of comments on here, but most uh, of them are just donut, 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 fat, fat, fat. <laughs> John's fucking famous. Uh, Emilita Encinas. Does anybody know what that P means? How much money that is? No. Oh, fuck. Ooh. How do you just P25? Is that what I got to Google? <laughs> hey, you have a R female fan. Good for you. It's R. Kelly. I don't believe it. <laughs> Did you say it's R. Kelly? Catfish. <laughs> to US dollar. All right. Botswala. What the, what the fuck is a Botswala Pula? <laughs> and, and why am I taking up this much time for $2.13? <laughs> Botswala. <laughs> Thank you for the Botswalan Pula. <laughs> Is that real? <laughs> Guys, my mom and brother reorganized my room, and I think they found my my cum tissue collection. How do I cope with them oh, knowing that this? Sucks. Got it in there. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Anthony. Hold, I, Anthony. I know you're. I know what you're gonna say. Uh. You didn't masturbate till you were twenty or whatever, <laughs> right? <laughs> okay. Other other than coming on Barbies, where did you come? When Toilet you were a paper. Kid? Toilet paper. And then, and then you threw it away like a fucking heathen. Flush, you flushed down the toilet. No. You throw it behind no. your dresser. <laughs> you throw it behind your dresser. <laughs> no, that's gross. Then you Dave, then did, your then your shit stinks. Dave, did you? Where did you come in Australia? <laughs> <laughs> into a tissue and then into the bin uh however i have carers who who clean up the 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 bins and uh oh see i would do it in that case some, <laughs> just <laughs> some, some carers uh don't like to to waste uh garbage bags so they uh put their hands in Oh God! Ew. You are fucking disgusting. Oh God! And first off, I, I was talking about when you were a that. kid. <laughs> <laughs> do they do they make your food then after that? Yes. Gross. <laughs> Ew. Come eater. <laughs> yes. Gross. 
I, oh, that's funny. Okay, are are you are you just fucking around, Dave? That you come in garbage cans and then leave it for somebody else to clean up? <laughs> uh, just, absolutely not. Just anywhere near the garbage. <laughs> Am I the only Do one like that thinks sp- that that there? That's like uh, what, what? He's an asshole. Like that's the word. <laughs> okay. If you know that somebody else is going to reach in your garbage can and you're just going to put cummy Kleenexes in there, you're an asshole. <laughs> Ew. I've got to give the care of something to do. <laughs> but so do they How pay for the garbage the bags? No, about uh, low twenties an hour. That sucks. Yeah. I'm not picking up cum for twenty dollars an hour. I don't have to. They can just grab the bag. No, just, you could throw it away. Know. Like you would flush it down the toilet. Why would you throw your cum in something you know somebody's gonna reach into, you fucking pervert? <laughs> Wait, why you're do, as, are you you're like as bad as a pedophile? Something? Why, why do you make <laughs> migrant women clean your cum? Yes. Yes, that's that's his thing. Okay. <laughs> so, so do they do they pay for the garbage bags? Uh, no, no, we pay for them. Then why do they care if they waste garbage bag? Why not just grab the whole bag? I, can't... I okay. just got so embarrassed that I didn't know what to say. <laughs> Good job, Doug. <laughs> All right. So I guess I won't stay on it anymore. Then. So that's how you can deal with your cum collection. I guess. <laughs> Uh, jet fuel doesn't melt steel beams. Right. Is that a Sandy Hook reference? (laughs) Uh, Phantom Time is literally just medieval revisionist history. So some guy can be emperor to an empire that got killed by Napoleon centuries later. I don't know what any of that means. (laughs) (laughs) That that was my thoughts. Is that, were we talking about Phantom Time or is that a game? Hey, oh, Kaya, you can pay tell me you. that, Doug. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, th- th- thanks, Crispy. <laughs> yeah, that's crispy. All right. Oh, now boy. we got to make our fucking calls. Fuck. You guys want to stay on the phone for that, too? <laughs> sure. Oh, I, I want to hear from all these furries. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm going to go piss, though, while you dial them up. I'll be right back. I have uh, 10 minutes until the exciting relaunch. Oh, you guys are recording it tonight? Yeah. They they said Um, it 14 fucking times. Don't you listen to anything? No. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, God. Are you? uh, All right. (laughs) Yeah, well, it's it's your fault, Anthony. Why? What did I do? How did I meet Bob? Because Did you meet Bob right? through us? Yeah. You met yes. John through us. Yes, Andrew. So this all Who's started right? from... If hold you, on a if, second. It, hold on, hold on. Is Andrew with you guys too? Yes. Holy he, fuck. He, he quit, quit we with assholes. <laughs> yes. What a dick. Why didn't you guys talk about that? There's people that would care about that. Oh, fuck. I was all team Andrew until that happened. <laughs> well. Some bullshit. We'll, we'll see if he shows up. He's not the most reliable... Keenan. You've ever met. Yeah. Hey, I can barely hear you. Hold on. Oh, okay. We'll wait. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Hi. So I've I've got to apologize. You're talking to a room full of people. So it's Doug and Anthony, Dave from Man Brain, and Kaya from the official podcast. What's up? Hi. Oh, it's not Parker. Uh, so are you sorry? Are you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing good. I mean, I, I've been waiting for this phone call like all fucking day. All right. So, Keenan, uh, yeah. Kaya has accused all of our listeners of being either gay or furries. Are you Same either thing. one of those? Sadly, I am not. Thank you very much. That's one for Doug and Anthony, none for Kaya. Yeah. I'm going to keep score tonight. We're, we're keeping track. Okay, you want to keep score? I'll mention this because I forgot last time. Doug, you know just as well as I do that there is, I have a friend who's a fan of yours who happens to be a woman. And to this day, you think that your only female friend uh, fan is fucking with you and just a fan as a joke. You don't even believe it anymore. 
I, Doug. I believe that too. There, there's no women that are going to listen to this show. <laughs> no self respecting <laughs> woman would listen to this. Doug and Anthony won. Kaya. He wasn't paying attention. <laughs> he was and too busy writing. He was not paying attention. <laughs> Give me a Kaya. point. Zero. Okay. Cocksucker. Give me a point. I literally just made an argument. <laughs> no, this is Your just argument. tonight, right? Your argument is invalid. All right. Keenan. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. So where do you where do you live at? I live in Ohio. What do you do for a living? Uh, grocery store worker. Sweet. <laughs> now, now, Kaya, if you would have said they're either gay furries or grocery store workers, yeah. then I would have lost. <laughs> <laughs> so you stock shelves and suck dick, but you don't want to admit the latter. <laughs> That, I didn't hear a denial in there anywhere. <laughs> so, Keenan, we appreciate you signing up for our Patreon. Oh, thank you. Appreciate it. You ever, you ever you get <laughs> chlamydia in your asshole or anything cool like that? <laughs> oh, God, I wish. <laughs> that might be somewhat interesting. Oh, okay, so oh. how did you find out about who's right? Well, um official podcast damn it get fucked I, I, no i i really really wanted this to be any other method that way all the gay listeners come from the official podcast and the straight ones come from yeah i know the only straight you, one came from me so kaya won we're keeping too many lists here damn it Okay. If you keep saying over and over again that you're not gay, then you're going to start wondering. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, Keenan, can I ask how long ago you quit listening to the official podcast? <laughs> uh, probably as soon as I started listening to you guys. <laughs> <laughs> that's another list we're keeping. <laughs> so All right, <laughs> that's... <laughs> the first oh, episode shit. I listened to was My Sexual Santa, and... I've been watching uh, 40 hours a week for the ever since that episode came out. Jesus Christ. Fuck. <laughs> Every time somebody well, says that. It, it, all the way through for, uh, free uh, podcast. And then I decided, you know what? I'm just going to suck it up and pay $5 for these fucks. And then I'm going to. Okay. You know, so do you, do you listen on Spotify? No, Apple Podcasts. Okay, so you were able to go all the way back then? Yeah, okay. yeah. Very good. Well, again, thank you very much for supporting us. We appreciate it. We're glad you're here. Mm -hmm. and I'd like to say that everybody who's not currently signed up to the uh, Patreon should go ahead and do that. You're uh, missing out. I like I, you, Keenan. I'd like for you to say that, too. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Actually... Um, my friend Addison, who said it was a bad idea to sign up for the Patreon, so... Fuck um, Addison! <laughs> why the, why the fuck would somebody say it's a bad idea? <laughs> Keenan! Did you say Madison or Addison? What? Addison. Keenan, why the fuck would somebody... Okay, drinking and driving is a bad idea. <laughs> what, what was their argument? And? <laughs> what was their argument that it was a bad idea? Well, he said that there, there's a, um, you can get it free online, but I'm like, that's too much work for me. I might as well just pay $5. For what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> fuck your friend Addison. <laughs> Motherfuckers, <Yeah>. man. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully he got it on Napster. I, I hope that's how. I hope that's how he got it. <laughs> yeah, you, you know what? You can't get on Napster. Metallica. We don't, we don't do anything else on Patreon. <laughs> no. There's do, loads do and loads of shit guys? that we put out on. There's loads and shit that we put out on Patreon that you can't get on Napster or wherever <laughs> Pirate Bay or wherever the fuck you're getting right. cocksuckers. <laughs> Fucking. <laughs> Swap meeting our shit. That, what, Keenan? You pissed me off. Yeah. How old are you? Do you not know what Napster is? <laughs> that's not like an old person's joke now. Damn it. How about LimeWire? Yeah, LimeWire. How about that? LimeWire Lime used to be head. such a great 
grab bag, you'd be like, okay, I want eight mile by Eminem, and then you get, oh, that's a virus. Oh, this is snuff porn. <laughs> 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 Never got what you wanted. Uh, nope. I'll tell you this. So, so do you guys get pirated? Do you have like pirate feeds now of your show? It sounds like uh, it. Yeah, I guess. I didn't know so that. So here's a but... fun thing you can do. Most sites where people used to pirate them, because they do pirate our show too, you can, as the podcast host, you can uh, request to take ownership of those pirate feeds, which I do periodically. And then when you do that, you can replace every episode on that pirate RSS feed with an MP3 of your own choice. So what I do, I replace it with the Rick Astley song and farts. <laughs> 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 That so would there's be awesome. something for you to consider. Okay, Anthony, here's your assignment. <laughs> <laughs> Do that. <laughs> That's pretty sure funny. Gonna pirate. Who's right? Okay. I don't know if anybody's going to pirate that. Your friend the skinny, Addison does. <laughs> the, the Skinny Wizard song? <laughs> I love that song. Huh? All right. Thank you very much, Keenan. All right. Thank you. Hey, Doug. Go ahead. Stay safe. God damn you. <laughs> oh shit 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 uh what do we got here hayes looks like hayes sign up for the five dollars here thank you mr and mrs hayes charlie charlie signed up at the five dollars here thank you charlie So apparently last week we, oh, all right then. <laughs> Hello? Fat boy. What? Oh, oh, wait a minute. Hold on. <laughs> Yo, give me a second. I got it. I don't know what we're going to do. Give me a second. <laughs> Uh, I don't even think my wife is this excited to talk to me. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> oh, I, I assure you, my wife is not this excited to talk to me. I'm still walking. Give me a sec. Okay. <laughs> get all night. Yeah, no, no problem. Uh, excuse me, man. <laughs> Are you going through a crowd? <laughs> You're not a doctor, are you? Were you in surgery? <laughs> I hope so. Yeah. I had to leave him behind. <laughs> That's cool. On the on the way through the waiting room with the phone in his hand. Oh, he's not gonna make it. <laughs> yeah. Hold my scalpel. All right. I I I I'm out I'm outside. All, All right. right. Well, we gotta move on, man. Thank you for <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> oh shit. Where where do you work at? <laughs> Just like everybody else at a retail job. Oh, awesome. <laughs> That's a majority of your fan base. Okay, Wait. so I've only got one note here from you, and it says, I'm African-American. Why did you feel that you needed to put that in? <laughs> oh, uh, I, I <laughs> uh, so you would call me faster. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> One, are you black? I am. I. Okay, so would you like to see proof? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> In your mind, are you gay? Hold on, we'll get to that. Uh, we'll get to that. In your mind, you think that because you're black, we're going to move you up on the list? <laughs> no, action. no, you guys, you would probably move me down. Honestly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so to Kaya's question, are you gay? No. Are you a furry? Uh, no. Okay. I mean, I want. I jerked off the furry porn one. Does that God count? Damn it! Ah, uh, that that, that's in my favor. Yes. Kaya won. That, that counts, you motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All it takes is one time, man. Get fucked. <laughs> what? He's on the slippery you. slope. I was like, dude, I was, dude. Okay. I the one. It doesn't count. <laughs> no, it, yeah, it definitely yeah. counts. It counts. Whatever you say, fur fag. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. It doesn't count. I promise. What color is your fursuit, homo? <laughs> it's black. <laughs> no, no. Oh, Jesus All Christ. Right. So, so, 
first off, your name is not Fat Boy. What's your name? Uh, Elijah. All right, Elijah. What part of the country do you live in? Uh, the Midwest. We're neighbors then. <laughs> what? <laughs> Want me to come over to your house? <laughs> what state? I, I, what state do you live in? I live in Colorado. What city? Uh, what my address? Yeah, wow. I was just okay. going to keep going until you didn't feel comfortable <laughs> giving me more information. All right, <laughs> all right, Thornton, Colorado, one three three four seven. Uh, That's enough. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh my god! So, god, did you so cool. did, did you come here from the official podcast? No. What? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was, was, back. <laughs> hey, that was hesitant. No. Why did you hesitate on no? Yeah. How, how did how did you find who's right? The official podcast. Yeah. <laughs> You're coaching the witness. The- Leading question. <laughs> yeah, my fault. Oh, that's cool. Somebody just yo. Uh, somebody's like sliding on one of them uh, shopping carts right now. Uh, c- cool, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, Yo, can I uh, ask a question? Yes. Yes. All right. Uh, Anthony, I want you to speak real quick. Okay. 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 Stop being retarded. Anyway, can Doug talk to me the majority of the rest of the call, please? <laughs> <laughs> that was that was the only reason why I wanted to sign up is because Doug is the best person on this fucking stupid podcast. No, yeah. you're definitely not gay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gay, but if given the chance, I would. Not. Hold on, what? <laughs> what? Gay. Uh, what? No, no, I'm, I'm not gay, but I just suck him so hard. <laughs> what? No, no, no. I get fucked by what? No. <laughs> I think that's another point for me. Yeah, I'm, I'm good letting Doug talk no. to you the rest of the time. It's cool. <laughs> so, so what? What would you like to talk about? Uh. Uh, All right. <laughs> okay. Now I've noticed uh, something. Uh, just, it's fine. <laughs> if I say something about gay, black, trans people, well, Anthony, be interested. Interested what? in what? I, I don't. I don't know. That's it. Are you one? Are... No. 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 I'm not. Are you sure? I. Okay. I. Yep. I, I mean, you want me to be? I, I could. Would that make it more interesting? I'm fucking lost. I, yeah, me too. I, <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, man or woman. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why. This, I, <laughs> fuck. I, I had a plan. I was going to say something, but I forgot what it was. You kind of called me while I was stalking the show, so I wasn't really prepared for that. Some lady, I think, was going to come up to me too, but I, I, I left it behind. I, I don't know for sure. You should have. You should have wrote it down on your hand or something. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, you want me? I couldn't see it. It's fucking black ink, dog. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Don't. Do they make white ink pens for black people to write on their hands? You know, I some, would really hope so. Some, I, I, no, so some I've never understood. School. <laughs> All ink is invisible no. ink if you're black. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> you obviously know nothing about black people. Right. They're only slightly syllable. You need to be taught in the ways of African culture. Anyway. Okay. So with that being said, would you be interested in coming on an episode and indoctrinating us into African American culture? <laughs> I could I could fuck yeah. I would I would love to treat I would love to show the majority of your gay furry white people podcast community how to be black. How 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 much of the episode is gonna be about fat asses? <laughs> <laughs> all of it. All of it obviously. <laughs> That's the whole it, thing. It's fat asses and saving money on Father's Day cards. <laughs> Pretty much. <Yeah. laughs> All right. So I would yep. like you to send me a message. Um, are you in our Discord or anything? Uh, yes, I am. All right. Send me a message on Discord, and we'll get it set up for you to come on and give us a uh, a lesson uh, on fat us asses. Honorary black people. Yeah. 
All right. I, I will I will be sure to make your podcast from 100% racist to 99%. Thank you. And you're welcome. Okay. You're, so you, I think what I just heard is you vow to remove three-fifths of the racism in this podcast. <laughs> I vow to remove three-fifths of the racism of this podcast. Got Absolutely. It. Thank you very much uh-huh. for your generous donation. We appreciate it. No problem. Mm-hmm. Goodbye. Bye. See you. Night. Uh-huh. Did you say Speak goodbye, Suge Knight? <laughs> <laughs> He's black. It's Speaking okay. of generous donation, by the way, Robert Abbott just gave you guys fifty bucks, saying Happy Thanksgiving. Holy moly! Mm-hmm. Thank you, Mr. Oh, nice Mrs. Mrs. Robert Abbott. That guy, look, that guy looks fake. <laughs> Nobody dresses in a fucking suit and listens to this fucking show. <laughs> Guess we'll do this one too. Thank, uh, thank you, Robert. By the way, we, we lies. There's no black people in Colorado. Is that true? I've never been to Colorado. Is that true? Sure. <laughs> I'm sure. just trying to get through this. Uh, Persona <laughs> Warrior Cody uh, signed up at the five dollar tier. Thank you, Persona Warrior Cody. Kaya don't even let us get through the small talk. He's sorry. Are you gay? Are you a furry? <laughs> <laughs> and I got my points, bitch. <laughs> and and they came from the official they forwarded podcast. to an automated voice messaging system. Seven one three. Sorry, Coulter, <laughs> missed your opportunity. Son of a. Uh, what do we got? Alan. Alan signed up with the five dollars tier. Thank you, Alan. I don't understand why this guy says his number looks fake. What? I mean, it's got all the numbers. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, Anthony? The note yeah, says. Yeah, yeah, it said it looks fake, but it, it didn't look fake to me. I didn't understand it either. Because it's got three fives in it at the <laughs> end? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Okay, I said my number looks fake because I always get asked. Hi, Drake. <laughs> so you gay? <laughs> I'm not gay. I'm not a furry. I'm not trans. All right. All right. That's point for Doug and Anthony. Yes. And uh, the next question. How did you hear about who's right? But for the record on YouTube. Next question is, who do you get your phone service through and why does it suck? <laughs> the official you're going to your, you're gonna have to repeat your answer, Drake. I, if you... Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Sweet. I, I objection his answer is inadmissible, so you don't get a point. <laughs> what the fuck? He may have been saying yes. <laughs> No, he 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 clearly stated that he is not gay or trans. That he started with no. that. <laughs> mm. I have no fucking better? clue how he found us though. Is this better? Yes. yes. Okay. I found you guys from No, it's a yes and a no. I... <laughs> All right, fuck this guy. I'm out. <laughs> Bye, Dave. Good hey, luck. See you later, Bye. Dave. <laughs> I even brought a fucking topic. What the hell? We won't know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, one, one more time. How, how did you hear about the show? I found you guys from the recommended official <laughs> <laughs> There's no way this guy's not fucking with us. <laughs> Anthony, I think I that's heard why, an efficient in there. That's why I've been wanting to tell you this for so long, but uh-huh. it, it's time that I tell you that. All right. That, okay. So. And that's why I have to do that. <laughs> I, I understand. <laughs> All right, Drake. I don't. Jesus. Wh- where do you live at, Drake? Wisconsin. Are you out in the middle of a field? 
Uh, I'm kind of in the middle of the no- of nowhere, so yes. Okay, your your connection is really really bad. When you li- are you going to listen back to this I, episode? Yeah, I did say if you wanted uh, better quality, you could call on Discord. Just anybody? Just call somebody on Discord? <laughs> Just call somebody on nope. Discord if you want better quality. I put put my Discord uh, tag in the note. Yeah, well, the guy, in- the guy that puts the notes on the board didn't put that information there. <laughs> well, shit. <laughs> How about this, Drake? How about you send me a message on Discord and say, this is Drake, and then I will call you from there instead of me having to search for you. All right, I will do that right now. Very good. I will talk to you in a bit. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Uh, Anthony Rabano signed up, and he said he increased his pledge, and he wants to make sure that I receive the extra $2 forthwith and in perpetuity. So that's mine. I think the guy with the $50 said the same thing, but with me. <laughs> you don't get to just make stuff up here. Okay, how about whoever wins the score game gets all the donations from tonight? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Anton Anthony. Uh-huh. What's a forklift? What what's a forklift? Something yes. that you drive and it has forks on the front and you use it to move shit around? No, food mostly. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I, it, I, went, I went to go find this guy in Discord. It's actually kind of funny. And some, somebody sent me a message that said, I will up my tier if you ask Anthony and then the joke. So <laughs> I just great. made us money. Yes. Did I? Were they wanting me to not get it right? <laughs> Whoa. Ah, what the fuck was right, that? Is this better? Fuck. Yeah, Whoa. that's better. I mean, it is now, but Jesus Christ. Okay. I live in the middle of the fuck, fuck nowhere, and I literally don't get reception in within a mile of where I live. Well, that sucks. Yeah, yeah, it fucking does. Okay, I found you guys from the recommended in... Oh, I was watching the official podcast, of course, <laughs> but uh-huh. your uh, podcast came up in the recommended video, and that's how I found you. I didn't find you from them, from... Kaya saying anything about you guys, but I found you guys from watching. So when Kaya well, told you, you to listen to, they were the recommendations. <laughs> I was. I have no. Uh, Hold on. I when, have no fucking idea. When Kaya tells you to listen to us, you don't. But when YouTube tells no, you to, you was, do. This was before <laughs> he even uh, he even mentioned you guys. Oh, so you were watching us before he even brought it up? Yeah. Really? And it, it took you this long to sign up to our Patreon? Dude, <laughs> I was fucking broke, okay? <laughs> Aw. What do you do for a living? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I, um, <laughs> I operate machines, mostly a CNC router and ones that make brushes. And you live in Wisconsin, you said? Yes. I am 22, so you don't have to an- ask did we already ask you if you're gay? I forgot. <laughs> no. And no, I'm not gay, a furry, trans, or anything else like that. Are you black? Or anything else no, like that? No, I am uh, white and Mexican. White. So you're Mexican. So you're Mexican, right? <laughs> <laughs> you're Mexican, right? <laughs> huh. That goes by the one drop rule. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Well. Whatever. Since Kai is here, I have I have a quick topic, mm-hmm. in, a topic that I know she would love. Sure. Colorado State Board dropped sex offender term, calling it a negative label. How do you guys feel about that? Oh, I heard about that. They yeah. want yeah. to call it person first. <laughs> I, heard, I heard about that, too. <laughs> they want to call I, it what? How do you guys feel about that? Uh, like something like person dash first or some shit like that. They, they don't want it. A lot of them don't. The only people getting offended are the ones that are actual pedophiles. Yeah, they don't want to hurt the pedophiles' feelings, right? Why? Why? I, I mean, uh, I, I wasn't offended yet. Don't ask me why. I'm not, <laughs> <laughs> I was just. <laughs> Hold on. What? I mean, what, what state was this? Colorado. Colorado. All right. Sex offender, Colorado. Here we go. <laughs> Drops. Call it a negative label. 
uh, change the term sex offenders to reflect so-called person's first language. I found it. In the end, the board voted 10 to 6 to go with, quote, adults who commit sexual, uh, sexual offenses. <laughs> sex offenders. Uh, yeah, sex Kitty offenders. Kitty fucker. <laughs> <laughs> Can you oh. imagine if you're a kid, five years old, you get raped by somebody? Go on. And it, and <laughs> <laughs> I just want you to show us your right I hands, Doug. I, I want you to put yourself in this mindset. <laughs> and then, you, you know, now you're like 20, you're whatever, and like 15 years ago, you get raped. And they're like, well, we really have to protect these people that rape children. Like, how, how do you think that makes them feel? How do you think that makes the people that got raped when they were five feel? Let's think about that for a second. Just for a second. <laughs> I actually know that. I have. I was talking to one of my friends who was raped as a child about this, and she's fucking pissed. She should be. Right, exactly. But why Why have the need to want to protect these people? I, I feel like this is part of yet another conspiracy, man, because I think right now Ghislaine Maxwell's court tr trial is also going on, and I think what, like, the whole government and Hollywood elite is trying to do is normalize pedophilia before she drops all of their names yeah, before the before all the information comes out <laughs> yeah <laughs> guys well, we mean, gotta uh, destigmatize this shit <laughs> ASAP if you're talking about wanting to normalize that shit, then that kind of goes back to the whole trans agenda shit because the whole that whole community is trying to normalize this already oh okay <laughs> yeah, I mean, hot take. Yeah, kind of just, well, yeah there's no that. disagreement. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I know, but like, yeah. Uh, no, it's know. really, really fucking creepy. It's goddamn weird. It's goddamn weird that like we're living this uh, twilight zone where what was that guy Rosenbaum, the guy written house shots <laughs> he, that multiple child anal rapist in uh -huh. half of America is now calling him a hero and I'm like yeah. my head is spinning looking at this shit going okay I guess this is what we're doing now persons with a history of sexual offense are selfless heroes they call them yep this has to be tied to Epstein and Maxwell there was a celebrity that tweeted out something like I, I can't remember the specifics but they called that guy his name's uh, Rosenbaum John or Joe Rosenbaum what, what the hell's his name they called Joseph. him some Joseph, right? So this celebrity tweeted out something saying, you know, why are we demonizing Jojo or so, like giving him a cute yeah, like, that was, nickname. Uh, uh, I can't remember the. Yeah, that was Mark Ruffalo from the oh. Marvel movies. He plays really? Hulk. He was like, oh, poor Jojo, this mournful, teary eyed oh, eulogy to this ass rapist. <laughs> poor Jojo <laughs> doesn't get to rape children anymore. Oh. <laughs> Think of the children he could have raped. <laughs> I don't want to think about the children that he could have raped. What the uh, fuck is wrong with you, Anthony, for wanting to think about them? What's wrong with you for not? <laughs> <laughs> you, you like thinking about raping children? What the fuck? No, not me. Not me raping children. <laughs> All right. You already know how this works. Everyone's got to twist it around and make you look like the bad guy. All right. right that's just right. Shit. That's always how it works. God. Yeah. Exactly. Well, Drake, we, we thank you for your support. Of course, I mm -hmm. will be upping my tier next week because I get extra money. All right, yeah. we'll, we'll take all of it you want to give to Yay. us. <laughs> Yay for extra money. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you take care, Drake. Stay safe. All right, guys, stay safe, have fun, and good luck. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. Bye-bye. That was oh. ominous as shit. I didn't like that at all. <laughs> good luck. <laughs> stay safe and good luck. Um, let's see. Are you done? Uh, no. So we got a message. Or you got a message. You put it on here. It says, uh, finally join you guys on super. Whoa, Jesus Christ. Finally join you guys on super. Hold, hold, hold on a second. Neilman, uh, your call didn't go through. So sorry about your so, luck. Answer. <laughs> uh, we actually shouted this person out last week, but they missed it and asked for it again. So Siggy, Siggy, <laughs> you put it on here. <laughs> so Siggy signed up at the, uh, on the supercast. So there you go. Thank you. Thank you very much. Is it Siggy or is it C J S I G G E? Jeez. That just doesn't sound right to me.
what? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Stephen? <laughs> Stephen? Stefan? Yeah, Stephen. Stephen. Are you watching the show right you know, now? I, yeah. I assume that uh, Anthony didn't put my Discord in there, just like the last guy. Right. <laughs> why, why would you give your phone number? Why would I put your Discord? I gave you a reason why. Dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> but, I, but I didn't. I might not have seen it or paid attention to it. So, can, well, obviously. Oh, fuck. All right. That's fine. I, we can hear you just fine. Everything's great. <laughs> All right. Okay. Are you gay? That's great. No. Are you a. All right. I'll, we'll tear off this band aid. I'm a straight white male. So, technically. Never mind. Oh, oh yeah. No. Straight white male. Say I think it. I'm interested whoa, whoa, in what whoa. you were going to say. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I want to hear I'm, the I'm like a minority. I'm like a minority in your podcast. All right. How's that? Because I'm straight and white. He's straight. Oh, <laughs> That's a point for me. I don't work at a grocery store. Where do you work? <laughs> I weld. At a grocery store? <laughs> <laughs> you are a wordsmith, you know it? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so so far the the score is for us one Kaya. So but fuck you, that is not real at all. <laughs> you've been you've been cooking the books, cocksucker. When it's, did it's, it get to four? It's on the board. First of all, that's hundred and fourteen. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Don't you know and American numbers? The score. Come on. <laughs> all right. So, how long? Where did you find us at? Well, this one's gonna go to Kaya. <laughs> Do you not like talking on the phone? I said this one goes to Kaya. Yeah, but you said it very aggressively, like you're looking for an argument. <laughs> like you're looking <laughs> yeah. for an argument. All yep. right. All right. <laughs> I mean, if, I mean, if you want to. What What would you like to argue about? I don't know. Are you going to check I out? Are you going to check out Rubberneckers? <laughs> I I wasn't watching that much of it. Was that the guy you had on earlier? Yeah. Yeah, the fat guy. No. <laughs> There's three of you. <laughs> oh, shit. All right, man. Thanks for signing up. <laughs> I mean, I could tell you the story about how uh, my dad's boss was murdered by his son. Let's go with that. That yeah. sounds promising. All right. Well, my dad used to work for this guy. Um, he was a Polak. And uh, I, figured, cool. I, I figured that might offend Anthony a little bit. No, that's cool. I, I, I was hoping you were telling me that your dad's boss's last name was Melendez. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he was paid like he was, Just basically. go on. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, all of his kids were really big into drugs. And one day, my dad had to go up there to break a fight between him and his brothers and he, he became a target, so the guy came down to our house and threw a huge chunk of cement through our door at like three in the morning. Oh. And uh, <laughs> this is like when Anthony tells a story. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't prepared. You brought it up. Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we, uh, <laughs> said that he was part of the ATF. Wait, so he busted no, through your door with concrete? Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah. And then he said that he was part of the ATF. He was talking to the back of his phone, and when the cops finally showed up, he had ditched his truck like five miles away because he was tripping on meth and clonopin. Where, where no? does the murder That's come okay. in? <laughs> Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ. <laughs> Anyway, he was doing the same thing, and he ended up. <laughs> Stay safe. <laughs> so nobody, nobody got murdered. <laughs> awesome. Did you? Did he leave? Did he, did, did he hang up? It looks that you, way. You really know how to make your fans feel comfortable oh. and safe. <laughs> oh, that sucks. Now well, I feel if he did, bad. 
if he decides to up his tier, he can come back and tell the rest of the story. <laughs> well, that sucks. <laughs> All right, so uh, there's only one more call to make, but I I can't find them on Discord. Huh. Ellis or Elise or something, E-L-Y-S. Yeah, can't find it? No. Oh, yeah, this is the plus four four number. <laughs> or the five I'll read a super chat in the meantime. The common cold says, guys, my tummy hurt yesterday. Can I get a belly rub in a straight way? <laughs> it's not possible. No such thing as a belly rub in a straight way. Once you say belly rub, you're automatically gay. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> that makes me gay too, I guess. <laughs> okay, so if I was, to, if, if I come to you and say, Anthony, can you rub my belly? That's gay. Mm -hmm. yeah. But if I say, rub my gut, that's fine. <laughs> yeah. <It's>, no. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's like gay, but a little grosser. <laughs> <laughs> I bet your folds are like a bear trap. I don't want to lose my hand in it. Yeah, get up in these guts. Come on. <laughs> Ew. Apply All some right. tack impaler. Well, <sighs> I am going to ask him formally, Ellis or whatever the fuck your name is, to send me a message on Discord and I will call you next week. Bye. Bye. Thanks, Kaya. Bye. Thank you.